welcome back to another episode. Happy Tuesday, guys. Thank you guys for being here. Rudy, how are you, my friend? Welcome. Hey, everyone. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me again, Fabs. Thank you Always for being fun. here. Thank you for making it. Um, what's going on? How are you feeling today? Are you excited for all the news? What news? <laughs> <laughs> like what news? No. Yeah. It, it, it just feels like all day. <laughs> It just feels like it's been a little slower than usual the last week, and and so we've gotten some movement, but it's been kind of healthier for my wallet this way. Right, and then obviously, as always, before we start anything, we have to say hello to the king. So, um. We got a few topics today, guys. Um, we got a few drops, right? So we got the Batmobile drop. We got the 501st drop. We got uh, the, 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 the most, I feel like this figure is the most anticipated figure, the priest that we're going to get excited. You know, we're, we're very excited to talk about. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, what else do we have? We got a few things, guys. So it's going to be. It's going to be exciting tonight. So so stick around. Oh, look at this guy. Are you around? William? William. He's always, he was at WrestleMania last time. So Oh, where, was he? Yeah, that's why he was in on Saturday. That's why he wasn't eating. Well, that's pretty cool. He wasn't on the stream. Welcome, William. William, William. How are you? Doing? How are you? Let me know if you want to if you want to hop on. If not, then suck it. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Let me, let me, let me, let me set up. Let me set up. Guys, welcome, welcome, guys. Of course, I forgot to uh, to set my, uh, what do you call it up? All right, we're good. We did it. We did it. All right, we got William in the house. We got Luch. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for being here. So what up? What up, my eighty nine one six collectors? If you don't have the shields, you ain't a real collector. <laughs> I'm doing. Oh my God. So, guys, so this comet here, as you guys know, he doesn't collect as it is, right? He doesn't collect, but. We were having this conversation earlier about the 89, and so I said I wasn't getting it because I have the original one, which came with the um, the shield, right? The cover, the cover, the, the you know, the, the covers the whole vehicle, right? Um, it looks like, well, we're going to get into it, but it looks like the new one isn't coming with it. So I don't know how that's going to be for you guys who don't have the shield, like the true collectors. <laughs> Rudy, did you have the original one or no? No, man. I, oh, I passed on it. I passed oh, on it. No. This no. this is gonna fall into my my story of uh, poor collecting decisions in life. Oh man, yeah, right? we gotta get into that. We have to get into it because for you to miss that iconic vehicle, ooh, I well, not but, miss because you can still get it now, right? I could still get it, and right. I, I had made a poor decision earlier. Remember that? I, yes. Yes, I know we'll, we'll have we're to gonna revisit. Get we're we're going to get into that. Yep. The Thor Hawaii, my friend, welcome. It says, what up, peeps? Slowly getting back to normal. Miss all you. Yes, feel better, my friend. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm doing um, Who else? Who else is in here? We got Bao. Bao, how you doing? Hit that like. Yes, guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. There's 23 of you guys in here already. Thank you guys for being here. How you doing? How you doing? We got Joker J in the house. How are you, my friend? Welcome. I'm doing. Welcome. We got Brad in the house. Welcome, my friend. I'm doing. Thank you for being here, Brad. We got Paul in the house. How are you, my friend? Welcome. I'm doing. Paul always in the house. Always in the house. Let's see who else is in here. My God, you guys are on fire. On fire. The irony. I don't even own one in our figure. <laughs> Are you? But no, I think Brad is a big fan of in art. How, how can you be a big fan of something you don't own? That's weird, no? I thought you would own at least one. At least the Joker, right? He's waiting for the right figure, man. Come on. No, no. But he's, a fan, no but he's a big fan of like in art. So I thought that he already owned like all of them. You know what I mean? That's why, I, that's why I'm like shocked at this. 
at this uh, comment. That's, that's why. That's why I paused on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Babs never hooked me up with those <laughs> with those eyes. <laughs> Imagine. Oh man, neither do I technically. Oh my god, you guys are nuts. Talent, how are you, my friend? Welcome. I'm doing. Thank you for being my friend, channel member in the house. I feel like we have more channel members than regular people <laughs> in this stream, <laughs> which is not bad if you think about it. Uh, Joker J, don't live fast. <laughs> You'll break his heart. Nefty, how are you, my friend? Welcome. Thank you for being I'm here. Doing. Another channel member in the house, representing the real ones as always. Who else is in here? We got, let's see, let's see. We got Thomas Jones. Welcome, my friend. I'm doing. Shout out to Cody for finishing his story. <laughs> what story? I don't get it. Cody. Cody. Cody A. Co Cody. Uh, Leo, how are you, my friend? Channel member in the house. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing. Driving home for work. Looking forward to the stream. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who else is in here? We got all three mills in the house. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for being here tonight. How you doing? Uh, let's see, let's see. We got Chris. How are you, my friend? Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. I'm doing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. We got Harold in the house channel member as well. Doing. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, guys. If you haven't, if you haven't checked out um Harold's page, Instagram, and Facebook, I believe as well. Um, he's been having too much fun with my Umbra Trooper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's got my second one, and he won't let it go, and he's abusing it with the pictures. <laughs> oh man, he should be bubble wrapping it for me. Uh, AB, welcome. How are you? I feel like I've seen you here before, once before. I'm doing. Welcome, welcome. I hope you. Uh, I hope you come in peace. <laughs> when I see when I see names that I don't recognize right away, I'm like, my guard is up. Like, here we go. Because you, you get benefit you get, of the doubt. Benefit of the well, doubt. Well, right? that's, what, that's what I try to do. You know, that's what I try to do right away. I'm here. Here where? What does this mean? What does it mean here? Are you around or are you not around? Or are you around or are you not around? Uh, we got Chris in the house. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for being I'm here. Doing. Another channel member in the house. Look at that. We got Anthony in the house. Channel member as well. I'm doing. Welcome, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. So let me see if William wants to hop on. If Oh, wait. I'm here for an hour. All right, let me um, let me uh, add him to the. Yeah, he'll be excited for that trooper. I know that's well. That's why I want to get him on because he'll be the only one with some insightful <laughs> information. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna uh, channel channel Mike by saying. Really? Who cares? <laughs> when it's your turn, when it's your turn, just go like this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wait for. Let's wait for William before we get started. Um, and then uh, I'm aroundish. I'm aroundish. Uh, you never check your IG live. Stream. No, I don't. I really don't. And you're you're 100 correct. You know why I don't? Because for whatever reason, every time I I start the stream on Instagram, the sound kicks back. So I'm hearing an echo on, you know, I'm speaking and I'm hearing on the Instagram. So I just, as soon as I load it up, I shut it. So I don't know who's on there. I don't know who watches, which, you know, sucks on my end, but I, I can't, I can't figure out how to get the volume, you know, off of the, the page when it's, when it's playing, but I, you're right. I don't check. I don't check that. And I don't check Facebook either. I wish I could somehow, you know, William, welcome. What up? How was WrestleMania? I was watching WrestleMania. I wasn't at WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, you said, I thought you said I'm going to WrestleMania or WrestleMania is tonight or something. Yeah, WrestleMania is tonight. That means we were all sitting there watching it. Oh, no, I thought you were I thought you were there. Nope. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That would have been something. 
it would, but uh, I'm not in Pennsylvania. I don't have, you know, doctor money like Dr. Fabs. <laughs> like, like that. I would, I have never, and I would never go to a WrestleMania. Like, it's not something that, like, I stopped watching. I want to tell you why I stopped watching wrestling. It was in 1993. And I was watching something. It was Saturday. It was, something was on WWF, it was called at the time. And I remember whatever fight was going on. And I said, Dad, look. And he looks at me and goes, you believe me? I'm nine years old, by the way. I'm nine years old. He says, you believe that? Do you see the size of that guy? Do you think if we punched him in the face for real, he wouldn't be all busted up bleeding right now? That's what he said to me. I look, I never watched it again. I would obviously, you know, growing up still play the video games and all that stuff. But when it came to like getting into like storylines, never. Like I know, you know, epic fights like, uh, like I said uh, last time, uh, Yokozuna and Lex Luger. Uh, uh, you know, I remember when Tatanka was around. I remember when, you know, all those guys. I remember the Undertaker, wasn't like... in the Yokozuna on an aircraft carrier? Say it again? Wasn't the Yokozuna and Lex Luger fight on an aircraft carrier? I think so, yeah. It was like an open. It was wide open, I remember. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, so that's that's my wrestling story. <laughs> that's why I never got into it ever again. Oh man, it was crazy. Now last year we went to a live event because my wife wanted to, and she's been digging it since. So uh, okay. we've just how been... often? How often do you go? Like once a year, or? Uh, well, that was was in Denver when they came last September, but they apparently don't have any events scheduled right. in our city next uh, in 2024, as far out as we can tell. So. Who knows? How much is a ticket? <clears throat> Obviously, depending. But like the nosebleed seats were like thirty bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Where do you have it over there? What location? You mean with the arena? Yeah. Uh, it was the ball arena where the the Nuggets play. Gotcha. Okay. The Cal Colorado Avalanche and the Nuggets share a little arena thing. Well, big, big old arena. But gotcha, gotcha. Derek, how are you, my friend? <laughs> how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, my friend. Uh, let's see who else is in here. I uh, can't wait for <laughs> in our Batman review. That is never happening. <laughs> I the the Hot Toys Batman figure is a ten all day long. It doesn't need to be rooted. They 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 nailed both hair pieces. They look great. Obviously, I like the messy one better. But they look amazing. There's no need for rooting. Obviously, if you like rooting, then there's your inert one that looks like crapola. Uh, Eric, how are you, my friend? Welcome. How are you doing? He says, I was up, my ears are ringing. <laughs> the death lock. Death lock last night. <clears throat> uh, we got uh, Uncarded says, we're all over here watching. On IG. <laughs> oh, no, I, I can never check. I can never check. My fault, my fault. I don't know. Guys, somebody help me. How do I how do I know who's like watching? <laughs> Fabs, I'm taking <laughs> he's been he's been abusing my uh my second umbra. This guy he's just weathering it. <laughs> I know. He's he's uh he's breaking <clears throat> it in. Uh he was he was there in spirit. <laughs> uh Fabs, I'm gonna stop you there. It's so much different, awesome in person. See. I wouldn't know, and I'm probably never gonna know. You know, I'm probably never. I, I guess the excitement and the hype and people screaming and like, you know, people who are really into it will probably want you, like, you know, want you to get into it as well or make you get into it. I stopped watching wrestling after telling my father it was. <laughs> I was twelve. <laughs> well, as I explained it to my children, it's scripted, but I wouldn't really call it fake. I would call it, you know, choreographed stunt work, you know, yeah. people break their backs and stuff. Who was, it, who was it that explained it that way that was really offended when they called it fake? And he and he got like really <clears throat> mad on a, it was a talk show and he got up and he was like banging like on somebody's head. Like it's like, oh, was that fake? Was that, do you remember that interview? That, that just happened, right? It, it, yeah, it was like very recent too. Yeah, they were in Australia and this who guy. Who was it though? Who I, was it? Uh, 
LA Knight was there. He's the American guy. But then Grayson Waller was the Australian dude, and the Australian dude beat up the the host yes. of the Australian yes. show. Yes, yes. And apparently, it's not the first time the Australian host has been like beat up by wrestlers. He says it's fake, right? Because he keeps saying, "Oh, it's fake," right? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. They, I remember they, that. They do like the slap a slap you in the face thing and be like, "Is that real fake?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. That's exactly well, uh, what it was. Come. Uh, Willem, it was on the Intrepid. I was, it was my one. Oh, the Intrepid. That was the, uh, I guess that's where it happened. The Yokozuna thing. Oh my God. How do you remember that? I never knew that. What was yeah. it? The Intrepid, like two miles from you? The Intrepid. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. The aircraft carrier. The aircraft carrier the in park. Manhattan. Oh, is that what it's called? I, I know there's one. I didn't know the name. Abs, come on! I was you, I was right in front of it too, and I just never knew the name. I, I had no hand, hand in your New York card free, right so now. That's why I go and do that type of stuff. When I'm hand in my New York card. I've never been to the Statue of Liberty. I've never been <laughs> to uh, the Empire State Building. I was at the Twin Towers before they were they were uh, they were brought down. I I haven't done anything New Yorkish at all. Like I've been to Manhattan literally, literally since I moved to this country. Maybe. Maybe 20 times. Maybe. That's probably the most New York thing you could do. That's exactly and, and I don't do it. I don't go I'm to not the, a tourist. That's right. Oh, you don't go to the tourist trap. I'm tourist stuff. No. That's yeah, use guys. Yeah. <laughs> use guys. <laughs> you said use guys. Uh Mr. Ordered in our Batman wishes. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's not he a burner. Said, he said. No, this is who is this? I'm trying to think because I know the logo. I the know logo, the logo. Oh my god, who is this? Who is this? <laughs> I know the logo and I can't picture who the name is. <laughs> oh, who is this? Who is this? Here. With the cobra. With the cobra. say hi. Wait. With right the there. cobra. Look at that, guys. That is a 10 figure. We don't need glued nothing. Nope. Hot toys We're just bigger, need man. Glued nothing. So how are you, Mr. Ordered? <laughs> I don't even know who this is. I know the logo, though. I'm trying to... Oh, man. Oh, I know who it is. It's Nathan Henderson. That's who it is. It's Nathan Henderson. <clears throat> how are you, Nathan? I, I was like, who is it? Who is it? It's Nathan. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for being here. I was like, I know this. I know the logo. I know the logo. Uh, happened to Geraldo in the 80s. They did? I don't know that. I wouldn't know that. Yeah, he got hit by a wrestler, and then a different reporter dude got slapped on live TV, and uh, he got a bunch of money <laughs> when he sued him because it burst his eardrum when the guy slapped oh, him. Oh man! Oh yeah! yeah. That's, wow! Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, my favorite wrestler was Greg the Hammer Valentine. His move was a four. Ooh, th I remember. Wasn't um, Brett the Hitman Hart the wasn't that the four figure, the, the leg lock too? Uh, Bret Hart did the sharpshooter, uh, Rich the sharp Flair shooter. the figure four. Right, right. The sharpshooter, the sharp. I used to do the sharpshooter. Uh, I may have brought <clears throat> the inner Batman, but I bought the inner Batman, but I think I'm more Batman than <laughs> I'm more Batman than Batman. Chris says, Sav's never gone out <laughs> his collection <laughs> room. <laughs> you think I got gas money? Look at all these toys. He <laughs> <laughs> said gas money. <laughs> you don't even have a car, do you? You just do public transportation or you got a car? Oh, no, no, no. Long Walks Island is not. No, okay. no, no. Long Island is not the city. In the city, you don't need a car. It's public transportation. I'm in the suburbs, so it's all you need a car for everything. So yeah, no, that the, the no, but that but that's the point, right? You have to walk to work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, but I I love driving, <clears throat> man. I love I love having my car. The city oh, was not for me. On a slightly unrelated note, your hat that you're wearing right now, uh, the T Dubs eBay page has the couple different hot toys hats that you can order. <laughs> no way. Wait, but no are way. they legit? That? Are they like the legit ones? Yeah, the new era. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. They Boy got Wonderland. they got like two different ones. Buy hot toys. Yeah. All right. We're pulling those up, guys. We're I'm looking now. 
We're pu- I'm ordering two immediately. Hold on. Uh, I made an offer on them, and they said no. <laughs> how much did you offer? <laughs> like 50 bucks. They have them overpriced. But how that, much are they? How much are they? Like 80 or something. They're 80? I paid 120 for each from Pop Collectibles. Imagine. Oh, uh, well. And I bought three. Um, and they do, and they do free shipping from their eBay page. Uh, what, what is, was Hot Toys Hat? It's just uh, Cinematic Legends is the page. Oh, Cinematic no, no, but, Legends. What did, what did you? What did you? What Are did you, you on for the hat? It's just on there, like the six hundred. Can you can you search just by page Cinematic whatever? Yeah. Cinematic. Cinematic what? Legends. Legends. Is it going to show me the page or is it going to show me? You want me to just send you the link in the chat? Just, just some, no, not in the chat. Oh, yeah, do it in the chat. Yeah, perfect. That's fine. <clears throat> um, yeah, because it's not going to work this way. <clears throat> uh, let's see what, what you guys are still saying and then we could get started. Khalib, how are you, my friend? Welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for being here, my friend. As always, as always, we got... See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, why do I know that Cobra symbol? <laughs> How are you, my friend? Welcome. I'm doing it. I was like, it's, I was like, I, I was like, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And then I remembered. Oh, <coughs> man, that's great. Anyway, yeah, you got... <laughs> this guy's removed. Like my inner Joker was entirely too much, but really... Looks like the Hot Toys Batman is just full out better. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you can't beat the king. You can try all you want. You're not going to go near it. And people will realize that. People will learn that over time. You don't have to take it from me. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to anything I say. You don't have to believe anything I say. You yourself, Rudy's a perfect example. Rudy's a perfect example. I just say things, and I just say them, and I just say them. Again, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to listen to me. You yourself will find out all on your own. Everything I've been saying is 100% true. We have to I learn guess. the hard way. Yeah, exactly. And, that, <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. That's, what, that's exactly what's going to happen. I can tell you guys that this is this and that is that. And you, Again, you don't have to listen to me. Until it's your turn to figure it out on your own, then you're going to be like, damn, I should have listened. Um, when it's too late, and and Rudy didn't even get to that part. He he was able to save himself, not a fully, little, not yeah, exactly, not fully, but he was able to save you know way more than than what it would have been a few months later. Legit, oh, I got it. I'm de- I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I know I'm getting them. I can tell you that right now. I love hats as it is. Well, look, Mike has good luck with them, right? So. Maybe you'll have the same good luck. With what? The hat? With the hat from Toys Wonderland. Well, with the <laughs> with their eBay page, it's uh they've actually been making good on all their yes stuff that I they're did, selling on there. I did hear I did hear that. Yeah. But it's you know, I I'm not gonna lie, I've been buying some cheap things, but they keep doing three day UPS shipping from Hong Kong and then it's here. You got you oh, so you've gotten them, so it works. Yeah. Uh, I I got a Doc Holiday present toys. I made an offer on one, and they accepted it. And then it was like it says free economy shipping, and it says it won't be there till like May. And I was like, okay. And then it was like, here's your tracking number. Here's the update. It's been dropped off. It's in the mail. It's coming on this date. And I was like, I ordered it on like Tuesday. It was here on Friday. And I was like, what the heck? <laughs> did and you forget? Did you forget the link? Or I'm not bugging out. <clears throat> Weren't you supposed to send me the link? I sent them both on Facebook Messenger. Oh, okay. I thought you sent them. <clears throat> oh, the, it's the same hats. It's two different hats. It's the same exact hats. Oh, they did. It's probably it's probably a reissue that they did. It's the same hat that you have on, and then the other one's the Hot Correct. Toys logo. Correct. Yeah, it's the same. But I already have both is what I'm saying. They, they This is the second release, it looks okay. like. I didn't say it was different. I said they had no, that no, no. hat. I, that's what I thought you said. I thought you said they were different than these. That's why I said, oh, I'm getting them. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, William. Guys, wait. false alarm. Wait, you've gotten this stuff, though? Because yeah. I'm on their page right now. They've got a bunch of stuff super cheap. Yeah. Uh, they mo- uh, Half of them do the make offers and stuff. And so I just keep sending 
offers and then the eBay does like the automatic percent off thing after a while. If you keep like looking at their stuff, like after like a week, they'll send you like, do you want this for 20% off? It's like, yes, I do eBay. Thank you. Right. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah. Just make sure that (laughs) it's like the, what did you do? Most of them have free shipping too. And it's, there's a problem. I'm looking at the Soso Jason Todd right now. They got it for 120. Yeah. Jason Todd. The red, the, the red oh, the new one, the new one. Yeah, that's a nice figure, man. <clears throat> for 120. Yeah. yeah, they all the Soso toys that they have on there have been pretty cheap. That's crazy. And maybe, it's just, it's like because nobody's buying from them. Maybe, but uh. <laughs> oh, this is a problem. This is a problem, William. But. <laughs> Fab doesn't I, want us having a hat, greedy man. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I thought it was a different hat. <laughs> like, I don't want you. I, you know, just for saying that, I wasn't going to say anything, but now I am. Um, <laughs> my next giveaway is going to be a sideshow hat. So you can't say that I don't want you having hats, because now you will. See? Unreal. No you ruined, hats. You, you ruined it for yourself. <laughs> uh, either someone's got allergies or... Snow, sir. <laughs> I've been <sighs> stuffy all day long. Uh, smash that like, yes, guys, please smash that like button if you don't mind. Like the brass, <laughs> yeah, <Yike>, girl. <laughs> yeah, heard in a while. All right, guys, so let's get started. So, William. That was a sneeze. Um, so we got the 501st clone, right? Um, when I remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but I remember when this was first announced, a lot of a lot of people were talking about how they were very happy with the Clone Wars uh 501st. Um, a lot of people didn't like the glossiness of, of it, the shine of it. Um, the blue is a little bit lighter than the Clone Wars. Um uh, trooper, right? Clone trooper. Um, it's a little bit uh, more blue and more like a like a like a dark blue, but it's more of a a matte finish to the figure, right? It's not. It doesn't have this this gloss. So, William, let's go. Let's start with you. Um, how do you feel about the figure? Is this something appealing to you because it's from uh, the Obi Wan show? Um, are you getting all the figures from the show? I know you got some. I know you got Vader. I know you got Reva. I believe I, you got Grand, right? What? Are you muted? Or are you just not just messing with? <laughs> <laughs> Happy belated April Fools! <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I no longer have Reva. I no longer have Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> what happened? I sold him because I'm giving him props that he has all this stuff that he doesn't even have. Yeah, I I have Vader. Uh, <laughs> He's like, oh, man. so the line's not important to you you don't care for the line or like are you not like that's it's just um if i had my extra detox before i sold the inquisitors maybe i would have kept them but it was just one of those things where i was just like um do i really want to just keep expanding my inquisitors or go you know the direction that I'm doing with my more individual custom figures. And so now I'm going more in the custom figure um, direction just because, you know, be a little different. So uh, specifically talking about this, right? Yes. So the Um, 501st trooper people were all butthurt about the color. Right. But um, there's this little color chart thing that people were sharing around on Facebook earlier where it has like, the six different appearances of the 501st in live action and animation. And each one has a different color of blue. And it's the thing that, you know, it doesn't bother me with it being different colors of blue because, you know, the clones paint the armor themselves. It's like, they don't get issued armor with the unit colors and stuff like that. And don't know if you've ever painted something in your house, but if you go back and use the same paint five years later, it ain't going to match. <laughs> and, right. Exactly. And right. So it's like, you know, okay, these guys had a different batch of paint because literally that's how paint works. But, you know, it's. 
So it's not even so. So it was done on purpose. It wasn't so. I, how I took it was because Clone Wars is animated, right? It's going to look a certain way. Like for example, look at uh, the Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. Him and Clone Wars look nothing like Obi Wan. Oh yeah. Right? And you would think, right? You would think, oh well. It didn't translate properly, but it's supposed to be the same person. So I would expect, right, that they're all the same, right? All the all the 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 five of first have to be the same, right? Whether it's Clone Wars or Obi Wan, it's the same thing, right? Or is it not? Am I going crazy? No, it it is because right. you know so, it's just the Phase Two armor, right? Exactly. So why would that color? even matter when it's called the 501st period it's the same thing because people uh star wars fans specifically are notorious for finding something to hate about anything <laughs> that they're given it's it's unfortunate sounds because, like in our collectors <laughs> well i you know i'm the star wars fan that is just so excited anytime there's new star wars just right. because it's new star wars right but people want to nitpick each little thing and be right. like well why were they this color on you know the flashback scenes on obi-wan right um but you know so it really doesn't mean anything the, the it, color doesn't mean, it doesn't God. mean it's just you know yeah in revenge of the sith you saw 501st in the temple killing all the clones or killing all the jedi right. and yes their blue was darker um and so you know, what's the reasoning behind them using a different shade? Who knows? Um, you know, you can make up your own explanations that each company some might be different, you know, with what they're doing, just like how the ones on the Clone Wars painted their helmets to look like Ahsoka's face paint and stuff. Um, you know, the extra helmets that came with the other 501st troopers, if you got the deluxes. Yeah, that makes sense. TK, but. how are you, my friend? Welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm doing. So, Rudy, we talked a little bit behind uh, the scenes before we started the show, and you were telling me how this is your favorite trooper. So, please explain to us what it is that you like about this. Why do you love it so much? Why are you so excited about this release and this? Uh, well, it's a release. And why did you pick this one over the Clone Wars one? Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> Stop lying. But <laughs> so you don't like it, Rudy. It's, it's not that I don't like it. It's just you don't like it, Rudy. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. Look, it's like it, it's hot. Hot twist kills it with the troopers, but it's another trooper, right? I'm just, uh, I saw this in the morning when, when it popped up and I was like, all right, phone down. I'm done. Nothing, not even going to look through the pictures. No, it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. Wait, so you, it didn't even like, it's not even appealing to you whatsoever. No, just because I'm not collecting troopers at all. Like, um, oh. it's not. Except the 15s from A Force Awakens and that was it. it yeah, that, that, <laughs> that was the extent of it. That was the extent of it. How many of those do you have? I have way too many, and I tried to get them all. <laughs> he said I have way too many. <laughs> and and every single week, it felt like Hot Toys was dropping another one, like the, I, I, the one it? with the, the 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 backpack, the one with the radio, the yep. one with the officer. And, and, and I'm like, like the double pack, the I'm single like, no pack. Way. No way, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I bought every single one, and the whole line looks like there's 30 troopers and then like three actual characters. Right. It's crazy because you have it was uh ray no yeah ray it was um what's his name you got uh, finn with the, and you could get finn, finn in the two pack with you the, the two, well you got the, two the guy finn. that calls him the traitor mm -hmm. right that was cool finn. uh you got uh kylo you got the that metallic what's her name um you got phasma the one I, phasma, I, I showed right. last time you got uh the, chewie the, and and han and grandmaster and pilot and who grandmaster luke Yes, correct, and the the Luke with the with the black hand, right? And you got the second Ray from the end of the movie, right? You got the dress, the 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 bum Ray, and then you got the the nicely dressed Ray, yeah, right. And so, then you got the still, flamethrower the, trooper, the who? The flame trooper. Well, yeah, that's all of them. That's right. with a different helmet. That's with you the got the tie pilot. 
I got that one. Right. Yep. The black with the black one, the black outfit. Yep. No, I, I have every single one. And that's the one line that I'm like, it looks like I have the same exact trooper 15 times. Because you do. Because <laughs> <laughs> you do. Because you, you do. What a, what a rip off. I'm what army building the first order. Yay. What? Oh my God. What a rip off. The real reason for. All the different color trooper is merchandising. Yogurt told us all. <laughs> yike. Let's give him some yike. Yike. <laughs> uh, so, all right. William, question for you. So, in the Clone Wars, the troopers have these bigger uh, things. Why are these small here? Uh, th well, there's different uh, size detonators. Oh, okay. Some are like the half ones that are made to stick to things. And then you have, you know, it's just like, you know, in the military, we have different grenades right, for different purposes. So it's just because they were in an enclosed space and they're probably worrying about, you know, trying to just kill the Jedi and not each other. They're probably using smaller explosives for, you know, killing children. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's just he's like it's not a big deal <laughs> he's like they just used us to kill children it's not a big deal <laughs> the younglings that, that's who they kill that's that's who they kill right unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable remember that's so, why that's why we call anakin's lightsaber the youngling slayer 3000 disrespectful so now william <laughs> since you are the star wars guru how many of these are you getting and why? Zero. <laughs> because I have a problem with troopers where I get this feeling where it's like, I want like 20 of them. Like, I know you've seen that picture that the guy yeah. had the other 501st with Anakin marching yep. and stuff. Oh, you know, sick. it's like, I want to do, you know, big old scenes like that. But then it's like, yeah, I can't get into the clones like i've had so many clones and so many troopers and you know basically all i have left clone wise is yeah i got the bad batch and i got Wait, my you don't, you don't get clones at all i have my republic commando customs and i have rex and pretty much i've owned and sold every other clone multiple oh, times but you, oh so you've had yeah you've had them then yeah but uh so you, you know, know what to expect out of them it's my it's yeah yeah, but the the five o first, you know, it's uh, I don't know if you know the history of the five o first. No, tell me. Uh, it's it, it's a fan organization in the real world that was created by you know Star Wars enthusiasts who dress up like you know Vader, stormtroopers, all that stuff to go do like charity events and you know sick kids in the hospitals and stuff like that, and they have like strict standards of you having to look you know, legit, whether you have to be actually screen accurate with all your stuff. You can't just be a Halloween costume type of thing. And after all of, you know, that had been going for years, George Lucas liked it. And so he included the 501st into canon as uh, called them Vader's Fist. Mm. Uh, and so then, you know, they backtracked that into the Clone Wars and had the 501st as Anakin's unit. And so then the 501st was his in the Clone Wars before Vader. And then after Vader, they became Vader's fists. So there's still a 501st of Stormtroopers afterwards. That's and so it's, you know, the 501st in real life, it's like they're uh, not... Uh... What? What's that comment? <clears throat> no, I think he's talking about... Oh. Oh, the guy that created the 501st. Okay. He's giving us a little story on that one. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's a lot of real world stuff that, you know, it's Lucasfilm always let them do what they want, like as long as they weren't, you know, being crazy about it. But they're not endorsed by Lucas, but they were accepted by Lucas. But then a bunch of the 501st was used as extras in the first season of The Mandalorian because they didn't have enough Stormtrooper armor. Oh, wow. See, I know nothing about that. I thought it was just part of, you know, something that he did. Yeah. Um, Rudy, tell us something that, like, you don't think many of us would know about Star Wars since it's your favorite IP. 
<laughs> Star Wars sucks. <laughs> Star Wars. Sucks. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like so, Star Wars. So now, I like Star Wars. If, if you were to buy this, right? If you if you had any interest, right? Right. You were you were into the uh, the Obi Wan uh, show, and and you were getting the whole line. Well, what? I am into the Obi Wan show. It's just this guy. This guy was in it for well, what? That one scene. I'm saying if you were getting the whole line, right? Let's, oh, yeah, let's right. say if you were getting the whole line. Right. Um, what would you find appealing about this if you like anything? And if you don't if you don't like something, what don't you like? It's it's not that I don't like anything. It, it's it's a good solid figure, right? But it's just it's just another trooper. Um, I mean, look, if I, I were to get it, I'd be happy with him. I think he looks good, right? Let's I'm not gonna take away from from the figure, right? He's got Good weapons. He's a simple release. I like the armor. I like the way the paint is done with the nicks. And like you were saying, right, William, it's not meant to be perfectly done. It's kind of got some wear and tear. I like it. It's just it's just not appealing to me as a as a figure, but there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing that I'm gonna tell you this sucks or this is terrible. It's it's a solid release. So you just your thing is with troopers in general, it's just you feel like it's the same thing, just repainted over and over and over, and there's no real excitement there's no there's nothing really new about them right and and i don't have the connection like like william i always appreciate when you kind of have that yeah know, give us that insight into kind yes. of the background on the character that's why i always ask him i always it's ask stuff him, I it's know. stuff i don't know right i i've just watched the live action show so right. i've missed all the animated stuff yeah. uh so for me the appealing troopers are like the umbra trooper right as limited as that was it had a visual flair to it that made it very unique from um or the troopers that are coming out from the uh, Ahsoka show, right? The the remnant trooper with kind of the the messed up, um, uh, what the cracked helmet? Yes, yes that cracked. that has a, that has like a unique visual pop to me that makes it a little more appealing, right? And they're not your standard, you know, clone. Your standard stormtrooper. Right. They're right. different. You know, you got those red laces all around them. Right. You know, they're all, they're all cracked. <clears throat> or Enoch, right? Those characters for Enoch. me, somebody who doesn't have the connection that a lot of you do to the the series and and like the 501st or, or kind of the history there those are the the troopers that tend to kind of appeal to me a little bit more something like this is a little it's not something that i'm really going to jump at william uh enoch can you explain the, the story why his helmet is you know his his mask is like that it's just uh all the troopers that were stranded with thrawn in the unknown regions had to repair their armor with what they had um oh, so it's just like like a custom thing they had to do like yeah just making do with what they could find available on that planet and you know the, the behind the scenes stuff was like that they were you know going for like uh uh the japanese art of filling cracks with the gold and stuff like that that you do um i can't remember what <clears throat> the process is called but apparently like if you break a plate you use this gold filler thing to make the plate whole again and then you see that it was repaired and it's like part of like, you know, moving forward and healing and stuff. It's like a whole like metaphor gotcha, gotcha. Japanese culture, but they were talking about like his gold face was supposed to be more like Roman legionary, you know, gladiator type of thing. And, you know, especially with how um, faith faithful the Roman army was to people like Caesar, you know, follow them through thick or thin and these guys have been, you know, they believe in Thrawn and, you know, <clears throat> literally are dying and coming back to still serve him, apparently. So, so yeah, how, how, where would you learn any of this stuff? Like, how, how do you know about, like, something like that? Like, which, what did you learn about that? About which, the mask? You know, the... the... Uh, when you watch the behind-the-scenes stuff. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, okay. Yeah, because I'm like, do you read books or something? Like, what do you like? What do you do that you know all this stuff? Well, I yes, I do read books. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> I can weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's an interesting backstory, right? right. <clears throat> and it's it's great to know that and have a little bit more of a connection to some of these uh, these troopers. Now, William, you say you like to um, army build, but you don't. So. <sighs> You don't why you think you think it's just like a waste of money or you just think it takes up too much room or just like ridiculous it's just because like if I, I I want this figure I want all I want the you know an army right. I do but it's like 
I can't buy just one of this guy. I would need, you know, several. I need like a little squad, like a little fire yeah, team. Uh, and that's like, gonna, that's like the only way to get him. Like you don't want to just do one. It's like I said, I keep getting clones. Like I had the pilot and I was like, he looks real cool. And it's like, eh, and now he's gone because I, oh, wow. gotcha. I couldn't build a scene around him. I couldn't build a shelf around just him. And it was just nothing. If it doesn't make sense in my head, then it's like, all right, you're gone now. And, you know, it's just like I've had a bunch of sideshow clones. I've had a bunch of Hot Toys clones. And it's just like, you know, I have Rex because I have, you know, D. D Bradley Baker's signature. He was the voice of all the clones Mm -hmm. on all the cartoons. Um, So that's displayed with him. Um, Same as I got him to sign a thing for my Bad Batch, the little plaque thing that's hanging above them because, you know, he does all those voices still, too. And, uh, you know, so it's like things like that. I have a more, you know, direct connection with that character just because you know i i met the guy got something signed you know it's like a whole memory and event around the figures with the display but be like this 501st trooper it's like yeah i want a bunch of them and then they can be like you know i got a bunch of jedi over there that they can murder you know and have like bodies strewn about and you know you could recreate that scene that everybody does with yoda you know shanking the dude through the chest you know i've seen some really nice poses of that where the lightsaber goes through his chest armor and comes uh, out. That I saw. Was it a moth? Uh, uh, Darth Maul uh, thing you had? Was it Darth Maul? No. What, me? Yeah. Didn't you have a, a like a whole setup of a, of a lightsaber going through a figure? No. When, whose picture did I see that? that had I've that? seen... I've seen uh, oh, I think it was Looch. Maybe Looch. Somebody had a Maul killing Qui-Gon. I remember that one. I think I saw that one and too. And then uh, yeah. I see the Yoda killing the 501st a lot. That yes, had- we had that as a premium format too. At one point, that was like a big yeah. Seller. And so people were recreating it with uh, Wait, who did who did what? I didn't hear that. Right? Sideshow had a premium format of that scene where Yoda was basically of on the Yoda desk. just shanking the dude. Right. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't yeah. See so that. people oh, recreated it with Hot Toys once the five hundred first trooper came out. Last one with you know with the wrong nameplate. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the but but Lallian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> but Lallian. <laughs> Um, Jim, how are you, my friend? Welcome. How you doing? Thank you for being here, my friend. <clears throat> All right, so Rudy, you getting one? You said? Nope. <laughs> said nope. nope. All right, I guess he doesn't want any of this. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into the Batmobile. So, a lot going on with the Batmobile. Um, like for example, it doesn't have a shield apparently right it, it looks like it doesn't come with it they don't show it they don't tease it they don't announce you know they don't mention it at all so <clears throat> rudy as someone that was ready to purchase the jazz inc vehicle first explain the story uh but before you do guys please hit that like button there's 23 of you guys in here thank you guys for being here go ahead uh i know so i mean Right, I had the Jazz Inc. on order, and then um, after getting the 22, which wasn't exactly what I was expecting, right? It, it was, I didn't think it was worth the money. Um, again, just my two cents, I ended up canceling that order. I just didn't feel like I wanted to invest all that money in it. Which and trust me, the, the 89, the Jazz Inc. 89, I had that one on order. Um, and look, it was, it's something I thought about maybe just buying it and potentially reselling it. And then I, I was just thinking I, that hundred bucks a month I could apply to something else right. that I'd be happier with. Um, so I ended up passing on it. And then because I had made the decision to to buy that one, I missed out on the pre order for this from Sideshow at least because it's waitlisted now and then. So I can still probably get the Hot Toys one if I want it. Yes, um, overseas, but um, um, yeah. if you, if, on that on that uh, Toys Wonderland website, they have uh, the <laughs> oh, there we go on there with free shipping. Just saying. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be sold out. Maybe sideshow, right? But you could get them, uh, you know, literally everywhere else. Right. You'll probably get them. Um, what Comic Concepts probably has it. Right. Um, I don't know if Big Back Toy Store has it. Maybe they they definitely do guaranteed. So right. you can still get it. Right. But at the time, yeah, at the time I thought, listen, the Jazz Inc. and he did they did a great marketing 
you know, approach on that one because he was showing all the accuracies that he was going to hit the size, right? He's got the comparison shot where you've got the two together and the one that he's making, right? He says it's actually longer than, right. than the hot toys one. Right. So that was really appealing. But again, at the end of the day, because of my issues with the 22, I ended up canceling that, but that's kind of what had drawn me to the jazz ink one over the hot toys one, to be honest. Right. We got Tool in the house. How are you, my friend? Welcome. How you doing? You you have the eighty nine, obviously, Fabs. On your cockpit, does it have that metal beam that goes across the top? Which metal beam? Oh yeah, there's one thing on the cockpit. Like when you open it, it's a rod that extends it, right. It, do they show it inside? Yeah, right there, right there, right this there. This thing? Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Let me pull it down. Because uh, mine, mine doesn't. I'm like looking inside. Yeah, no, it right mine. Now. Do- I could tell you right now, mine doesn't. I could tell you that's never been there. I've never seen that. Because the thing about this cockpit is, when you slide it open, it's wide open, right? There's nothing yeah. separating yeah. anything, which is what this looks like. It's but on the back to- of the cockpit, there is a hole on the one that I have, and so it's like. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I mentioned it on the on the evolution page earlier, and some guy was like, "Yeah, that's that's on the first one," and I was like, "Oh, yeah." See, I don't remember. I mean, I could pull it down, but I don't remember that bar there. And and like I said, I feel like I wouldn't remember something like that because it's dead center of the two seats, you know. So yeah. anytime you move that, you slide that cockpit open, that door open, it'll you know you'll see that bar there. So I don't know. Yeah, I because see. I was like. Oh, you wait. Hold on. So you don't have it. Yeah, but the little hole is is there there on the top. And so that's why. Yeah. No, that's weird. No, I I gotta I gotta check mine too because I was just trying to figure it's not something I want because you know it would impede putting somebody in there if you were actually putting somebody in there and i i had you know robin and batgirl in there at one point with their boots off because you know nobody fits in (laughs) their boots on (laughs) oh really not even not even oh well that's the old one that's the old one if you shove batman in like you can get him in i wouldn't recommend it right 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 oh wow no i thought i thought because i know I'm, i'm i'm assuming that this new one is going to be made for the updated Michael Keaton 89, right? You would hope. Right, I would think, right? I, that's what I would assume. So I don't understand why they, I mean, I, again, I, I'm hoping that that's the, that's the reason why they even bother remaking it. You know, they didn't call it a reissue. They didn't call it a 2.0, right? right. They didn't call it anything like that. So there's there's something you know it's got to be something different that they did it can't be exactly the same or else they would have just called it reissue like they did the tumbler remember when they did the tumbler it was reissue yeah <clears throat> so they could have done that uh i wonder why the new batmobile doesn't come with the shield not a big deal but it seems like well absolutely the shield is a big deal and i think that's the reason why they didn't call it or they're not able to call it a reissue because it's not exactly the same you know so by them just removing the shield it's not the same product that you got with the shield. So that makes sense. Why they removed the shield, that doesn't make sense. right? It, that shield is nothing, costs nothing. It's literally the thinnest you know, plastic ever. Well, right? people complained about it scratching the paint job. Oh, I, I didn't. I never heard of that. I never heard of that. Why is there a bar? Do you know why the bar is there, uh, William? It's a guide bar, apparently, for being able to slide the thing closed is what the discussion was that I saw. But that's why it's like I have that hole on mine, but there's no bar. But yeah, I'm looking I'm looking at like all the old promo shots when the uh, the 170, right? The MMS 170 came out and I don't see that bar. The original one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't remember. I'm telling you, I, I wouldn't. I would remember that bar. That bar's not there for mine. Guarantee that bar's not there. William, did you get yours brand new from Sideshow? No. Oh, what'd you get? It two hundred dollars on eBay. It was three hundred, and it was a local pickup. I told you this. Oh, that's story. right. That's right. You told me. You told me. <laughs> no, I thought because I'm asking because I wanted to make sure that 
you know, if I got it from Sideshow and I didn't get it, and you get it, you got it from Sideshow and you didn't get it, that means it didn't come with it. But I, you know, that's why. Yeah, I and that's it. that's why it was like I didn't get the shield with mine. That was, you know, right, was, right, right. I don't know where the shield is, and it's like I don't care. Right, right. I got I'm you. not going to display it with the shield because yeah, displaying it with the shield is like maybe an every now and again thing. But basically, right. if you just leave it on all the time, it's just a dust cover for you. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's why mine's on mine yeah. because where I have it. For whatever reason, everything up there collects dust like crazy. So I just have it on, as a cover for it, just to yeah. avoid it getting all you know, disgustingly, disgustingly full of dust. All right. Well, Willow and I need to head out. So all right. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I'll talk to Great you later. Talking to everybody. Later, William. See you on the next one. All right. See you later. What were you saying, Rudy? <clears throat> no, no. I'm, yeah, I'm looking at Sideshow's uh, page, the the archive and everything about this bar. I, I. I I see some clips of a bar there and I don't know if it was like something that you could include or you could remove. Yeah, so it no, might I'm be the same you, thing. I've never seen it. I've never, even from before that was not a, a thing in the in the promo pictures. That was never a thing that I've ever seen. I, like I said, I would remember, Oh yeah, there's the bar. Oh, look, it's, it's right, right here. here. Yeah. yeah see? Nah, I'm telling you, I never got that. So, so like so I said, it, this funny. has I, to be a, a different, you know, model of the vehicle. So, so looking at that picture that you just had up that showed the bar, I did see um, I, somebody's unboxing pics of the original uh -huh. that had that bar included with the accessories. So I don't know if that's something that. Oh, maybe we got to put it on. Maybe you we had gotta... to put it on, or maybe you oh, didn't have so to put that, it on. So that's a possibility that, and I can tell you, I didn't put it on. Right, you know? because otherwise it, it takes away from the realism of it, right, from the accuracy, because yeah, that but, bar's not there but in the movie. Think of but th exactly that's what I'm saying. Why would they add that? And I'm yeah. telling you, I don't remember that bar being there at all. Right. Because I have the the box very. It's right in the in the in the garage, and right. I could go in there, open it, take it out, and I could tell you I've never seen that bar in there. It's not in there, and it's definitely not on. So that's very weird. Yeah. Very very weird. Yeah, that definitely took. It's ugly. It takes away from from the overall look of the vehicle if you keep it open. Uh, Tui says, just bought a 65-inch Samsung TV from a crack. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my God. The bar is hugging. It yeah, is. The bar doesn't it belong is. there. It doesn't belong there. That's Nick ugly, yeah. Brand new sealed in box. Uh, <laughs> this guy, he said brand new sealed in box. Oh, man. Wouldn't be able to hide it. That <laughs> Can you imagine trying to hide, to hide that? Tuli, win-win. Uh, TK, welcome. How are you? I'm doing. Welcome. Uh, Joker trailer. Yeah, I saw. I saw how he's cracking up by himself. That looks crazy. Yeah, wife is seeing this box. <laughs> he said, "Wife is seeing this box." You should have seen my wife when the 22 Batmobile, the Jazz oh Inc. got dropped God. off. It was. I was at work. I was actually in the office that day, and I got the text. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what there's, is nothing, this? there's nothing that's gonna ruin your day more than something like that because you're like oh right away <laughs> your first your first reaction to something like that is because oh. you know you got to deal with some bs right away i was like happy because she got the box right because they wouldn't have left it just right. like that right but at the same time i got the message what is this it's oh, huge. Yeah. What did you get? What did you get? You said, I got you a second house, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Carlos, my friend, welcome. Johnny, my friend, Johnny Brigante. How are you doing? How are you, my friend? You made it. Thank you for being here. What did you miss? Not much. Just the 501st. We just got into the Batmobile. So, Rudy, um, how do you like the cockpit? How do you like the way it looks? It looks super clean, super nice, super fancy. I like it a lot. Yeah, no, the, the detailing on that looks great. It definitely looks like it looks better than uh, the Tumblr, right? By of far, course, but, yeah. But this, yeah, yeah. this looks nice. I, I think I think the Hot Toys version really is a solid release overall. And you have it. I mean, you have the original. So uh, I don't know. I don't think they really updated this that much. Maybe it's got a slightly better paint app. If that, yeah, if, exactly. If anything, it'll be the paint application. I don't think you're going to get new panels or anything like that because then it won't really be accurate, you know? Right. They can't really be changing things like that. Um, how do you like, did you ever, did you ever use this or would you have used this? Uh, no, actually, no. Jazz Inc. didn't make this. No, Jazz Inc. didn't make that one. Um, 
I mean, it was cool because it, it, it kind of gave you that Batman Returns look as well, right? It wasn't like just a Batman Batmobile. You got all the pieces to make it part of the the Returns as well. So right. I, I liked having it, but I don't know that I would have displayed it like that. See, we got it with Hot Toys and I never used it. It's still in the box. So I'm like, does that, you know, do you really need to raise it? Like, it's cool to be able to do it, right? To have that feature. But right. it's like, eh. But I never use these wings either. Right. Again, right. All. Those are very much, those are from Batman Returns, right? He uses right. it to get the clowns out. Right. Um, I, I like the clean look of the base car with just the machine guns popping up. That's I great. love the machine gun look so bad. Yeah. Like it looks really sexy with the mind, but here is like your classy look too. You it's re- I mean? it's it's an it, honestly, it's one of the best looking. It's yes. the best looking to me, Batmobile that you've got. It's it's the I feel like it's the most Batman Batmobile. You know what right. I mean? Like when you think of Batman, you're like, this is it, right? right. Even the '66 to me doesn't say Batman. No, you know no. What I mean? Like listen, I like the tumbler. I really did. I own it. Yeah, but that's uh, not a Batmobile. But that that's a tank, right? It's a military Correct. vehicle that he kind of takes yeah. over. Correct. I love the 22 Batmobile, right? But that's a muscle car that that's has a car, some right? Exactly. This this was really the the Batmobile. And then of course the ones from like Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, they were a little too out there. Although the one from Batman Forever they were they were cool. a little too futuristic right. for, for what it was, yeah. Uh, Nathan says, speaking of large boxes, did you guys ever get the one? No, I didn't. I had a Lifestyle Aliens face hugger egg delivered a couple weeks ago. Look, <laughs> Say, take some pictures. I want to see. I would love to see that. I wish we got the bombs. Neither Hot Toys or Jazzing give us those. No bombs. The ones, oh, the, ones- the, the tire that come out, right, Brad? Are those the ones that you're talking about? That I, I think, yeah, yeah, the, the, the uh, one that. That looks like a uh, like a wheel lock that rolls off the wheel, the right? Rim, and then it right. like he has off. a little rod that comes yes, out and yes, drops yes, them. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I know exactly. It's like a little ball that that drops off the wheel. Well, if you listen to to Yost, apparently he's got another surprise for people who ordered the eighty nine. Maybe that's it. Maybe he threw that in there. Through what? The that the threw. little bomb. The little bomb when you pull the bomb out, the wheel falls right. off, and then you you can't blame <laughs> him because it was Hot Toys' fault for oversizing the bomb. Anyway, <sighs> what a joke. Um, let's see. I wish it was at least USB. That would be sick. It's not. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame. Oh, that would have been a good one, a good feature to add if it was updated. That would have. That's a shame that they didn't do that. Yeah, if they that didn't do like that. The, that's like the Ecto one, the two point, the Ecto one two point oh. Yeah. Came with is USB. that USB? Yeah, the new one. You didn't. Oh, you didn't get the new one with the folding with the folding wheels. No. Oh no, the DeLorean I have. That's what, that's what I meant. The oh, you said the Ecto one. I, I don't. Yeah, I meant, I meant the DeLorean two point oh. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I, no, I said something wrong. No, the DeLorean two point oh is great because I like the USB one. That right. Awesome. That's what I'm saying. They should have done it like that. Um, O3, uh, Mill says Fab has two of the- <laughs> Imagine. I, I'm slowing down on vehicles big time. I, I know where to put them. I, like Ecto, the Ecto 1 Afterlife right there on top of its own box in the middle of the floor, just nowhere to go. Right? So, if for whatever reason they decide to make the Ecto 1 from the new movie, right? Frozen, what's it called? Frozen, what? Uh, Frozen Empire, I think. Frozen Empire, which I have a feeling they will because they cleaned it all up. It's not beat up anymore. It's literally brand new again. Right. Right. With Paul Rudd in it. So I can guarantee you most likely they'll get the, the license for that vehicle again. So you'll have the original. You'll have the, the beat up afterlife. And then you'll have the refinished uh, afterlife again. Guaranteed. And there's a possibility. Was it you that told me about that bike? No, I didn't tell you about the bike. Somebody told me about the bike. They're, they're uh, in the movie. They have like a... Uh, like a uh, Batman and Robin bat cycle with a sidecar. Okay. And I think they may make that vehicle as well. It's uh, I forgot who told me. I thought it was you. No, I have I haven't even watched the movie yet. I want to show you guys real quickly before we continue, just so you guys see, because they they make make this too. That's the only reason why I'm bringing it up. What I'm uh, hoping, and, and I don't think it'll happen, is that they would make some figures to go around with the vehicle. I mean, not remake the original four they did, but something new would be great. I just don't see them really getting into figures at this point. See, the figures... Here it is. The figures um, is... 
like for example, I think they can, but it's not not hot toys though. No, not hot toys. It would have to be Blitzway. Blitzway look doing at that. them, yeah. So I think that they can make this right. That would be cool. The problem is, you know, they made the 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 original Ecto one because they made the four pack Ghostbusters, right? So it made sense for them to make it. You can still right. You, so now they made the Afterlife uh, Ecto one, right? No right. figures for that whatsoever. Right? right. So you would think, what's the point of this? Well, you can still use them, use the figures with the vehicle. Right. It, it has literally every single feature that the first one does, but it's just beat up. Right. So you can still use it that way. Right. Now, if they make a third one, can they reissue figures? Absolutely. It doesn't look like they're going to. Right. It I don't know that like I would. I wouldn't even necessarily because Blitzway hasn't shown themselves to do reissues. Right. Right. So I would almost say I'd love to see them do new figures, but I don't know that they're going to do that either. Right. Well, they, they would, they would have to do them all updated and all aged. Remember right. that older, first, that, right. Absolutely. Older that, versions. That would be the only way because, oh, yeah. because they're not reissuing anything. So that would make right. sense. Right. That would be the only way um, for them to, to make new figures, right? They're not gonna reissue one the, the ones they did already. They're not gonna remake them. There's no, no reason to. Thank God no. that they're not a company that are just greedy when it comes to money, because they could easily make that money as soon as they oh, put up oh, a, a pre-order. Everybody's gonna order it. Yeah. Absolutely. And not only that, you gotta understand too. I don't know if you remember when they announced the reissue for the Ecto One. It was something like I guess when it came out, it was something like twelve hundred or something like that, maybe eleven hundred, a thousand dollars, whatever it was. Right. And then when they reissued again, it was something like $1,800. Like they increased the price by like $600 or something like that. Right. So the point is that they could come out of left field, right? And remake it and just add whatever. Right. Another $500, and then that's up to you. Right. right? It's up to you, but they can reissue it. Right? Are you going to buy it? That's up to you. Are you going to not buy it? That's up to you. Are you going to miss out again? That's up to you. Right? They make right. A, a brand new four pack of all the up, you know, updated uh, characters, inclu including uh, Paul Rudd as right. one of them. And there you go. There's a whole new line with the clean Ecto One. Boom. Done. Right. The Afterlife. Um, I don't remember the 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 original Ghostbusters were not in Afterlife, right? No, they cameo at, at the end. end at, least, at the end. At that's very remember. right. So that's uh, why it makes sense why they made the vehicle with no Ghostbuster figures because right. they were not a big part of the movie. They appeared at the end, and now with right. the, with the you know with the with this movie that came out right with the Frozen Empire, now they're back in the movie right, right? full time in the vehicle right full time. So that's why it makes sense for them to make it now. This is just, just me making my own pattern out of this. Is it? Does this mean it's going to happen? Who knows? Right. You right. Don't. You don't. Correct. But this is how I'm making. This is how I make. You know, my my predictions and how I tell you guys this is. You know, this can happen. This can happen because I put. You know, I connect the dots. Like I said, afterlife, we only got the vehicle. Right. And it right. makes sense because we just said that it was because the Ghostbusters were just you know appeared at the end. Now, with the new movie, they're there the whole time. It's a completely different dynamic with them and the vehicle. So that's why, you know, the reason why this vehicle is still up in the air to me is because are they going to make these kids? Kids are kids are, uh, are are weird when it comes to six scale, right? Because not many companies do them. Well, that's like the Hot thing. Toys. Hot Toys just did their um, what the the Padawan Ahsoka. Ahsoka, right? Right, but. We we haven't seen some of the like Miss Marvel. We haven't seen some of right. the other younger right. characters. The only company that's really tackled kids right now is Three Zero with Stranger Things, um, right. and they've been doing a good job. Like the sculpts aren't great, but they've been doing a decent job. But companies don't seem to you know go in that direction. So I don't know that. I don't know. I'd love to see older Ghostbusters, but I don't know that we're gonna get them. Yeah, I I would love to see the new ones, right? Obviously, right. You know, if I can't get the old ones, then obviously I would hope for the new ones. Um, 
and you you know they're going to be super expensive too if they make the new set. Oh, of course, you know they're going to be probably. If I remember correctly, I believe the original set was something like eight hundred bucks or something like that. It was because right? like I seven, remember seven ninety nine or something like that. I think it was. I remember one day Sideshow had something on their their uh, warehouse finds. And they apparently found a set. I remember. And I tried to pick that up. And of course, it was never, sold out. And never. somebody got it for like 800 plus shipping. It was insane. Axel, how are you, my friend? Welcome. I'm doing. No, I remember that. I remember that because, you know, first of all, first of all, whoever got these warehouse finds every time is a lucky SO. Yeah. Yep. Period. Because by the time I got those emails, it was already three hours gone. Right, right. So I don't know who got these things, who was constantly on this website waiting, you know, for these emails. I don't know. I never got a single figure of those warehouse finds. I was never even able to get an email that it was still available. Yeah. Every time something I got something, it was going, oh, no, never mind. I'm lying. I, I just remembered. It was probably never, William. I, well, no, I never even got the emails. That was, that, was, that was a problem. I was never, I wasn't even getting emails. And William, what I was telling me, oh, you know, they found this. And I'm like, yo, I'm not even getting the emails. He's like, oh, did you sign up? I'm like, I don't know. And I wasn't even getting the emails. He was the one telling me, oh, they just they just showed this. They 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 just, you know, found this. They found this. Like that. No, I get the emails like an hour or two hours late. That's the thing. And then it was too late, right? You can never take advantage of anything. Frozen Empire has gotten a lot of hate. I actually uh, liked it pretty well. I was watching it. I was watching it. Uh, watching maybe because I have Plex, so I don't know if you guys know what Plex is. It's like this. Uh, it's like this network where you just literally you download everything, just downloads like, and you could share with like as many people as you want. So I'm, you know, I'm a user on somebody else's account, so I get everything right. I get literally every show, every movie, every music soundtrack, everything as part of this, you know, this network. So the movie's already on there for free, and uh, and I was I started watching it and I out like a light. So I don't know if the movie was just boring. I was I was just tired. Yeah, I, but I, I, I have to it. wait for it to come out on streaming and then I'll watch it. I'm gonna I'll film it for you on my phone and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine watch it on my way to work. <laughs> Need that artist in Vigo. 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 So are we talking? Are we talking the Ghostbusters two Vigo, or are we talking like Vigo Mortensen from uh, Lord of the Rings? Oh, I don't even know who Vigo is. I thought you don't. Who was Vigo? Vigo, Vigo remember in the second one, he's the isn't he the bad guy, the I one in the Vigo, painting? I thought Vigo was uh, part of the John Wick movies. Vigo. Well, I think he's he's the the old guy there. Yeah, see, oh, it's Vigo Ghostbusters. He's the guy in the painting. That wants to have the baby. Oh, he wants to possess yes, the baby. Yes, yes, the, the creepy guy from the first yeah. one. The second one from the second from the one. second one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that painting, that creepy painting, yes. Yeah. Uh, Fast just had that platform showed down. <laughs> 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 I just ratted everybody out. No, it's legit. It's legit. It's not like a bootleg thing. It's not like, you know, pirating anything. No, it's not. It's legit. It's awesome. Yeah, it's not, you know, you're not. I'm not stealing anything. Uh, anyway, it's not my account, but I'm not, you know, it's, it's not, not <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not mine. I'm just a guest, but you know, it's not, it's nothing like that. Uh, Vigo Ghostbusters. I, I Ghostbusters doubt, yeah. So Rudy, so if, so now, now that you canceled your 89, right? Yeah. Um, what are you going to do about a, a Batmobile? Are you not, are you like going to be comfortable not getting one? Are you still going to try to get one eventually? Um, are you just completely like giving up on it? No, no, no. I, I think if um, down the line, I'm going to keep an eye on it and I'm going to see if I could get the Hot Toys version. I'm definitely going to try to get the Hot Toys one. Let me tell you something. I can tell you this. You will never know and I will never know how much better Jazz Inc. would have been, right? right? We will never know. I can tell you that this Hot Toys Batmobile will be a billion times better right. than the Jazz Inc. Batmobile. It's not going to feel cheap. I can tell you that. It's not going to feel like you got ripped off. I could tell you that. 
the paint, the finish, the gloss, the the way that the whole vehicle is, right? Um, my thing, you know, another another issue that I have with with Jazz Inc. is remember that before they got licensed, they were making the same exact quality product. Right. Nothing has changed from not licensed to licensed. Nothing. Making the exact same product the exact same way. Nothing has changed, right? Right. You own the 22 Batmobile. Do you own any Hot Toys uh, vehicles at all? Yeah, I have the DeLorean. I have the okay. Tumbler. Okay, perfect. Right? So I have those. Do, and they looks- feel, do they feel to you, from the moment you open them, have any has anything Hot Toys related, any vehicles that are Hot Toys branded, have you ever said, man, this feels cheap, man, this feels, you know, weak, this feels like it's not licensed, this feels like it's not worth what have you ever felt that way with anything hot toys? No, but for the vehicles, I do have to preface it with something, right? The original tumbler was what, like four hundred and something dollars. So when I remember getting that and taking that out of the box and then putting it back in the box because I had nowhere to put it, right? right. And it's still in the box. That felt like it was it was definitely a steal for four hundred and fifty dollars, right? Like honestly, and I know the the nitpicky part of me is like, well, this isn't accurate. the The inside console doesn't look great, but when you look at that beast in person for four hundred and fifty dollars, that's pretty cool. Now the DeLorean, you know, I had an issue where my axle was broken, so I'm going to fix it. But then. Sideshow gave me the options, right? Either return it or get a discount, like $130. So I took the discount because I know I can fix it. Right. So when I look at that, even with that issue, what the vehicle ended up being $100 cheaper, so $500 and change. Right. So again, right, for the cost, it feels pretty good for what you're, you're paying. Even damaged. Even, even damaged. damaged. You're like, it's not right. bad. Right. Because My personal... Not... Right. So my my personal issue with the 22 Batmobile, if I had gotten the, the exact model I have from Jazz Inc., and if I had paid, I think somebody asked me, what would you have been comfortable? I, I said, even if I had paid $1,000 for it, right? Like not even half of what he's charging, I probably would have said, you know what? I'm extremely happy with it. But the mixed feelings just come from all the money that it cost. And listen, I get it. He's a smaller outfit. He's this, he's licensed. I get all of that. But at the same time, it's that emotional thing. When you're paying that much money, yeah. you expect something that's just better. I, I think, I think, you know, and you just said it too. And Mike says it all the time. Um, You know, that's just justification. That's just, you know, I don't care how small of a company. And I, you know, we, I, we've, Mike and I have had this discussion back and forth. Right. Um, I don't care how small the company is because if you're going to blame the size of the company, right, for not being able to perform, for not being able to deliver, then why are we paying these prices? That's what I don't understand. So, all right, fine. They're a small company. They can't do it because of whatever. If the justification and the excuse is that they're a small company, and they're a small mom and pop, and they're this, and they're small, and they're small, and they're small, and they're small. How is a small company getting away with charging what they charge while giving you crap quality, and there's still collectors out there saying, well, it's not a big deal. They're a small company. How do you feel about that? Spending, you know... All that money on something like that, right? And and it's 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 like I said, right? For me, there's an expectation, I, even if they're smaller, and that's why their prices are more expensive, right? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on that. They are smaller, so it costs them more. But I still expect better quality than Hot Toys, right? At, you at, would at, at least for, at, at three price. times the price, I would Absolutely. expect better quality, right? I I would expect screen accuracy. What they have going for them right now is, um. They're the only ones doing some of these vehicles right now. And and look, I'm guilty of that too, because we've talked about it with some of the third party figures that I get. Like you keep, you keep making fun of my one away toys face off, (laughs) right? But 
nobody else uh, unless you went the custom route and paid right. two thousand dollars for a custom figure right. right which i know some people would have and i just wouldn't be able to do that for a single piece uh a single six scale figure so those don't be cheap i'm accepting <laughs> right but but again 108 toys charged me what 140 for the 150 for the piece so it wasn't charging me Hot Toys prices. Right. So I wasn't expecting a Hot Toys level figure. Correct. And that, thank you. And that's a great point because when we buy third party, yeah, we know what we're getting. And sometimes, not sometimes, every single time that we get a figure that is third party, right, and that is good, why do we boast on the fact that the figure is so good? Right. Because it's cheap and you don't expect something so good for something so cheap. Right. So, so that's, that's what we always talk. Yeah, that's what we always talk about. So-so toys. Correct. Right? So-so toys has an amazing price point for their figures and they're delivering some of the best third party quality figures, if not the best third party quality figures in Absolutely. the market right now. Absolutely. And, and when you get the figures in hand, you feel like, wow, I'm getting a quality figure absolutely for less than two hundred dollars every least. time. Every time, the quality, the right. weight of the figure, the size of the figures, yeah. the accessories, the materials, the outfits, everything that they do, even the scale. Okay, yeah. even the scale is. Uh, Social Toys is making figures <laughs> to uh, the closest to the Hot Toy scale. That yeah. is the only company making figures at that size, at that size, at that height, at that, at that, uh, at that mass, right? right. Look at, uh, I'm going to give you an example. Look at the blood sport. Look yes. at that head sculpt. Look at that body. It's bigger than the Thunder Toys uh, yeah. blood sport, H taller in height. Right. Thicker in mass, right? Because they're using fuller bodies to be closer to the Hot Toys um, scale, which is super smart because if you're going to look up to somebody, who are you going to look up to? Right. The King. The company setting the standard for 1.6. The only company, you know, the, the main company, not the only company, the main company making six scale figures. Right. The company where... Other companies get ideas from to make figures, right? So you'll have Hot Toys make you a Batman. And then third-party companies decide to do, well, they're making Batman. Let's make Catwoman. Let's make this. Let's make right. that. So it gives companies ideas on how to make their own figures, how to make their own money. Yeah, they can make it however they want, pick whatever materials, whatever bodies. That's their problem. But due to Hot Toys' company, right, that's how they're able to to create their own companies out of that, right? right? Oh, we could do a third party and we can make blah, blah, blah. Right. We can make companion pieces for, for them. Another thing regarding Soso toys, specifically Soso toys, the way that they... See, I can't say that. So going back to Bloodsport, right? I showed you guys, I pulled up the picture on Saturday uh, with the, the when I swapped the head of the... Soso Toys Bloodsport onto the Moon Knight. Hot Toys Moon Knight, right? Right. So that right there, right? Again, the reason why I did it was to, to show why um, the Soso Toys uh, hex, he, uh, necks were fitting on the Hot Toys body. So, number one, Bloodsport was released way before, which was, you know, last year. It's been probably at least eight to ten months since it came out, right? Um, that neck, right? The way that the, the way they designed that body, right, has nothing to do with hot toys, period. But that neck is designed specifically and completely different than a hot toys neck in width. So it's not as thick as a hot toys neck, which is why I showed that the you know, the, the Doctor Strange head sculpt on that same Moon Knight body, it didn't fit because right. it's so thick. The Hot Toys um, head is so thick, right? The whole neck and attachment is so thick that it wouldn't fit in that Moon Knight sleeve. 
So the fact that they're even doing that, right, too. So they're not doing it on purpose, clearly, because Bloodsport had nothing to do with Moon Knight, right? right. But they're designing their necks differently for that reason, right? Just for whatever reason, if you ever need to use a Hot Toys anything, I guess they're already thinking about it, right? right. Um, I would have never expected a company to develop something like that to work with Hot Toys, right? I would, as a company, I wouldn't want to give another company, even though it's two completely different worlds, right? Even though you got right. Hot Toys as license and then you got third party, which is nothing, right? You wouldn't want to give not only more attention to the big company, right? Because you're giving them, by you, by you posting a picture of your head sculpt on my Moon Knight, right? You're creating hype for your product using my product. Right. But by doing that, you're creating hype for my product too because that's going to make me say, wow, I've never seen this before. What is this? Or what it did for me was I had one Moon Knight already. What did I do? I went and got another one. So it'll make you buy from whatever company you're you're promoting. Right. <clears throat> J and D and Inart would never do anything like that. They would never make anything that will work with any Hot Toys figure. Right. Which is why, if you pay attention, uh, for those who own Inart, Inart uses their own bodies. The Joker has its own body. Uh, the, the, what was the other one? The Pennywise has its own body, right? Their neck attachments are completely different, unique to their bodies, right? Only they use that st style of body, as far as I know, right? All the companies I've ever purchased never came with that type of neck, never came with that screw on neck, never came with a magnet at the bottom of whether it's, you know, the male or female end of the neck. I've never seen any of that. So they make their own, which, it's what it's supposed to be. You don't want a, you know, you don't want a, a make a Honda that you could get, you know, Kia parts for. You know what I mean? Right. Like you, you don't do that. Period. You just don't do that as a company. You don't want anybody mixing and matching your your, you know, parts with other stuff. Maybe because of the fact that they're a third party, they, you know, they're they're like, you know what? Let's attach ourselves to this company, mm -hmm. right? But they could get in trouble. What do you think? No, I mean, I mean, look, I think so. So, I think providing that sculpt, they knew what they were doing. I, I don't like with the 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 Mister Knight that they issued. I, I think they knew what they were doing. It's a companion piece. We've seen so so do a bunch of companion pieces, right? Like what what's the other one that's coming out? Um, Deathstroke, right? The yeah, but that's from like BVS, I believe, like the end. Of right. The end. Yeah. But but it's another companion piece, right? You're correct, not going to swap out the piece, but it's correct. it's nice enough there. Look, I think so. So, and, and maybe it's just that they're using whatever, like you said, they're they're trying to model themselves after the primary company in the business right now. So it's easier to get parts. It's it's better to do parts that are being used with these pieces than say an in art that's doing very specific things for themselves. Right. Right. right? So. No, I, I think I think Sosa's doing a good job basically filling those gaps. And I think third that's what third party in general is doing, right? Uh but going back to the price point, you can't beat their price point and the quality they're getting. Right. Right. At, at sub two hundred or two hundred yeah. bucks. Yeah. Right. I it get that figure. Every time. It kills it every time. And I the get quality. that figure. Yeah. Like like you know, when when you collect different things, sometimes and I've been guilty of this. When I pick up a piece, even if it's licensed, right? Um, I'm going to throw in a company that we've talked about, and I know you you think it's trash, and it probably is. But Exo Six, right? When I got one of their first figures, <laughs> I, I got one of their first figures, and I compared it to a hot. <laughs> right? The reaction was disappointment. Right? It doesn't even hold a candle to, to Hot Toys, right? But then you look at the price point, and at that point, I paid one sixty for that, mm -hmm. three hundred dollars for a really good uh, Hot Toys figure, and I had to make the we have that realization. Look, I'm not paying three hundred dollars, so I shouldn't expect three hundred dollars quality. Correct. What Soso is doing 
is Soso is giving you pretty decent quality for that price point. Yep. Right. I'm going to throw somebody else out there. Three zero and license with the Rambo figures. Yep. Rambo figures are one ninety nine. Very good. Great accessories. Yep. Perfect pricing. And those are really solid figures. Great bodies. Great head sculpts. Way better than the Stallone shop head sculpts. Yeah. No, it's true. A hundred percent. And it looks, the loan shop is charging you 270 280 for their figures. License rip off scam. You're scam. getting it, you're getting it, and I got it because there's a nostalgia factor there, right? But again, when you get that figure in hand, for me, there was a bias because I like the movie, I like the Cobra, I like that. But yeah, there's a little bit of sticker shock. It's like, is it worth the cost? No, but then you get a three zero. Two hundred dollar figure that looks even better. Yep. When you open that out of a box, you're impressed, and, and it's just that's the same thing that happens with this vehicle, right? So I think when it comes to vehicles and your your overall feelings, I paid four fifty for the tumbler. I ended up ultimately paying about six hundred dollars, right, for the Delorean right. two, and even broken, right. I felt like I got something really good for that money. Absolutely, with the discount. With the discount, what was the other big piece I got? The Hulkbuster, the original Hulkbuster, uh-huh. eight hundred dollars for that. That that thing is a beauty, right? Yep. If you've had that eight hundred dollars, you feel like I felt oh like my I got my God. That's why I got two because you. Right. It's like it doesn't feel like a ripoff at all. Right, and then that's the issue that I have with Jazz Inc. Now, and that's why I ultimately canceled that order for the eighty nine. Is I didn't feel like at the eighteen nineteen hundred dollars shipped cost, I was getting. Nineteen hundred dollars worth of product, right. and that's that's myself, right? So, I think paying for the seven hundred dollars, seven fifty dollars Hot Toys Batmobile, I think I'm going to be happier ultimately. Sure, it, it might it not be the most accurate. Okay, maybe it's not the most accurate, but I'm probably going to feel more like I'm getting my money's worth. Absolutely, and let that. me tell you, like I said, I was telling you earlier, there is nothing that you are going to miss out on, right? getting the hot toys figure nothing right nothing you're gonna be very happy with the quality with how it feels with the weight with the features with the light up function everything you're gonna be very happy very satisfied you're not gonna have loose wheels you're not gonna have weak anything broken axles weak axles flat tire none of that right you now i do think worry about it i do think and, and again even though i took myself kind of out of the equation there I do think if he's going to deliver a monster vehicle, this one has to be it because of yep. the attention that people are paying yep. to it. He's also sold way more units of this than anything he's ever done, right? He said that, and that's why he's been adding features. So if there's going to be a vehicle that he's going to knock out of the park and that he really needs to knock out of the park, it's the 89. Right. Yep. So at the end of the day, he, he, it might he deliver a really high quality product? He might. But again, at the price point, it's not a chance I necessarily want to take. Right. And, and you know, it's the, it's probably like we mentioned earlier, it's probably one of the most iconic Batmobiles ever. Right. You know, so it's a big deal vehicle. You know, this it's is probably cool. the most, I want to say probably the most popular Batmobile ever in history. I think so. I so, think so. Uh, Savon says, after a certain price point, you're ex- you paying for it to be perfect condition when it gets to you. Absolutely. And like I said, I have never felt that anything purchased by from Hot Toys, right? Branded Hot Toys. I've ever felt that it was cheap. I've ever felt that it was it wasn't worth the money. That never. I've never felt anything like that with with Hot Toys. Um with Jazz Inc I've never felt that I got what I paid for, period. Yeah, the vehicle looks beautiful, right? The 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 Justice League, beautiful vehicle. Right. Um, but it just, you know, the just the engineering alone, right? Just that alone. How you swap parts out and how you gonna give me a styrofoam block with hot glue gun glue with a magnet glued to it. Like how is that right? You know, like what? But so, that, that's the, the thing, right? It, it, if he were charging less for the product, absolutely, a lot of us would be much more forgiving, absolutely. right? You'd be much more forgiving with the product, absolutely, because you know, you know, and 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 you could say, all right, it's licensed. 
let's let's uh let's charge the same as hot toys let's just say right getting that product as we're getting right now from jazz inc right getting that quality product at the hot toys prices is still not worth it right it's still not worth it because if hot toys is licensed and better all around for let's just say 800 bucks and jazz inc is also 800 bucks and it's licensed as well it's never the same quality ever again we're going by what we've gotten already not right. by like some hypothetical no it's what we've got already even if my ja uh my jazz inc uh batmobile deluxe right my bvs batmobile deluxe was i don't know let's just say let's just say 900 bucks right right this vehicle to me right it doesn't justify what it's worth but it, it it does to a certain extent why the presence of that vehicle right the size of that vehicle the length of that vehicle right so is it worth the 12 the, the 12 and change whatever it was no but you can say well look at it it's massive it's big look at the wheels look at this right. look at the design you it's you know it's literally two vehicles in one if you think about it right because right? you could get two completely different looks out of the vehicle right so that you could suck it up and say well you could display it two ways blah 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 cool that you could justify right but that 22 no 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 the 22 and again right i i said it i get you give him credit he the the engine is an engineering marvel right that thing is beautiful it's impressive um but again, I just couldn't for myself justify the cost. I know other people, you know, love it and that's cool. But for me, I just it, it's exactly what you said. When you sit down and really look at it and you realize you paid all of that, listen, I'd rather have the Funko 89 Batmobile <laughs> pre order. You know? Save that money. <laughs> Save that money. Look, I think the biggest disappointment and, and when it comes to this one was I lost I, I and I knew I was gonna do it, right? Nobody held a gun to my head or anything about this. I knew I was gonna lose that three hundred dollar NRD. Mm. Right? That hurt. I just that hurt, but at the same yeah. time it was like, do I do that and then continue paying another sixteen hundred dollars worth? Right, fifteen hundred for the or boy, uh yeah, twelve hundred for more for the vehicle and then three hundred dollars for shipping. Right? Do I pay that or do I just lose it and take that extra fifteen hundred and pay for other figures at that point that I can right. pick up as they're going? But and the one thing that hurt about that, if in my mind is three hundred, that would have been like almost half of the Hot Toys one. Right? right? I could have applied that money to the Hot Toys pre order and been like halfway done with it. Um, mm. and at seven hundred, I probably would have been happier. But again, Anybody who knows would. how that's going to turn out, right? The 89, right. I, I really wish him the best because I think there's a lot of demand on that. Mm. And a lot of people are really expecting him to knock it out of the park. And well, every, every perfection. vehicle, it's not just that one. It's every vehicle you expect from him with the amount of news that he's always telling us, the amount of right. you know updates constantly, the amount of, oh, look at this and look at that. So you're all, every, every vehicle, you're like, oh man, this is going to be awesome. That's another reason why you're 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 very upset and disappointed at the end because you're like this is what it is. Yeah, you know like, the one thing that build up for this. Right, the one thing that surprised me with him was um, he's doing the '66 uh, motorcycle. Yeah, and that thing isn't cheap either. How much is it? I think he's charging like twelve hundred dollars for that thing. For the the bat cycle thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty expensive. So again, right. In, in, a, in a scale thing when you see like other companies doing six scale motorcycles right at what what did hot toys charge for the the 22 batman bat cycles 350 three, or something three like change. that yeah it was three something yep <clears throat> i mean listen i'd expect the little market but 1200 dollars for that well, I mean, that, well so it's a completely different bike right so it's remember right. that the that the that the uh 66 is a it's got a side card and all that stuff so that that alone Right, justifies a bigger price point, not twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. Exactly. On, I'm looking. I'm looking this up. Now I have to look it up. Yeah, Eric says I'm wondering if Howard is the silent owner for social. No, I don't think so. You know why? 
because Howard is fully licensed worldwide and he has no reason to be getting involved with bootleg stuff at all. Um, if you wanted to get into cheaper quality stuff, there's Hono. And I think that's why. Um, I think that's why they're doing Hono. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So I don't know if Howard owns Hono. Hono looks like it's a branch of Hot Toys um, in Japan, right? Um, again, is it Hot Toys directly? Who knows? Can it be? Absolutely, right? But this it looks like it's coming from Japan, that Hono line. Um, so again, can it be Hot Toys? 100%. But if Hot Toys wanted to get into third party, why not just do licensed figures? You know what I mean? If they're already right. – there, there's no company – in the world that knows hot toys and would ever turn them down for a license period anybody any company that is a toy related company or company that that you know is involved in, in making toys and looks at hot toys as portfolio when they go request that license you're going to tell me that a company's going to say nah you're no good for us are you kidding me with no. that track record with the amount of figures with the amount of money with the amount of uh product that they constantly push a year, you're gonna tell me that any companies are saying, "Nah, we'll 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 wait for somebody else." Absolutely not. They're gonna get it. So there's really no excuse and no reason for them to go bootleg. You know what I mean? So I doubt it. I don't is think. This, it would be, but is this accurate? He, he's charging fourteen hundred dollars for. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it was more than twelve hundred because I, I remember I, I don't know if it was you or somebody said, "Oh, they're charging," and I was like, "What?" And I in my head I said. That's more than that Justice League uh, Batmobile that was twelve. Wow. Yep. I, I mean, he's saying he's it's diecast, but twelve hundred. I mean, fourteen hundred dollars for that. The diecast would probably be some like metal weights in like the middle of the bike. <laughs> <laughs> <Good time. laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at Joker J's comment right now. <laughs> that's your that's your diecast. We got Luke in the house. Luke, how are you, my friend? Long time is right. I'm doing. Welcome. Nice to see you. Uh, we got Big Rig in the house. How are you, my friend? Welcome. How you doing? How you doing, guys? Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, wait. I have to go back to Anthony's uh, comment. He says, I mean, at this point, that small business excuse should be thrown out the door. In my opinion, how long uh, How long they are going to keep saying we are a small company we need to charge this price? Well, they're going to keep saying it as long as they get away with it. So the moment people stop falling for it, that's when they'll stop saying it. It's that simple. This Batmobile uh, at at what they selling should have stopped that small business talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that's the thing. If you give them a little bit, they'll take everything. So the moment that you find a justification for that, they're going to ride with it. And until you stop it, they're not going to stop. Why, why would they? If I tell you guys... Guys, I need to charge you guys this because of blah, blah, blah. That's all you're going to know, and that's all you're going to repeat, and that's all you're going to tell everybody else in every single group. Oh, no, he charges this because he's a small company. That's what he said. But it's like, wait a minute. You can be a small company all you want, but it doesn't justify what you're charging. And if you if this is what your prices are, then you either make more volume or you stop charging it. Like, what? Can you imagine justifying getting ripped off every time? No. Right. Absolutely not. I can't wait for my jazzing version. <laughs> this guy. Uh, I almost bought to imagine. That would have been sick. The Thor, my friend. Great stream, Rudy. Great. Feel better, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Feel better, man. Yeah, he's got the vid. Oh, does he? Oh. Yeah. He's got the vid vid. Oh, a man. big dog pound made it. Welcome. Welcome. I'm doing. Super late. Did you just go to work, big big dog? Were you at WrestleMania too? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Let's see who else is in here. Uh Jokes or Chase Common want... is the best. I watched a video on the Jazzing Nights uh, and the flame had a magnet glued. Onto the back and it fell out. Oh, yeah. That happened to mine. Actually, funny you say that. Uh, show and tell time. Show and tell. Funny. See, that's the problem. Funny you say that. Look. Mine is not even on. 
because exactly what you're just saying happened to me. So this is a magnet, as you can see. This goes in the, in like, I guess the exhaust, the, the tailpipe, whatever you want to call it, but it lost whatever made it sticky here. I guess it came off. This thing went flying off. Boop. And then it shattered one corner there, one piece there. So, yep, you are not lying. You are not wrong, my friend, because it happened to me as well. Yep, it happened. It was up top, and all of, a, all of a sudden, I hear, and I was like, what the hell was that? And then I started looking for what it was. It was the flame effect, completely broken. I was like, oh, nice. Premium. I was like, premium. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying before we continue. All right. Collier Edison Henry. Welcome. Nice to see you. I'm doing here. Collier Edison Henry. If that's not a burner, I don't know what is. <laughs> I imagine. At least All they're right. polite. Huh? At least they're being polite. No, well, they, they start <laughs> with the politeness and then and then they get yeah. uh, then they, they get froggy. Um, so all right, so now we're done with this topic. I feel like you're tired of it. Um it's exhausting. This it's one not, is exhausting. <laughs> well, because you, because it's personal stuff going, you know, that's going right. It it's like not, reminds me of the, exact, the, the no, court that's decisions. Exactly, absolutely. No, that's exactly what it is. That's why it's like, ah, it's like I don't even want to bother talking about this because it's just gonna remind me of what you know what happened. So now we got this guy. You didn't get to talk about him, obviously. Um, so real quick. Oh, hold on, let me see who's in here. We got uh Brett <laughs> Fab sniff some out. <laughs> uh, Javi, welcome, my friend. Thank you for being I'm here. Doing. Happy Tuesday, my friend. Welcome. So tell us how you feel about the figure. Tell us, do, do you think we needed another one uh, having the Clone Wars? Do you like how it looks? Do you like the hair, which is like a big deal? Um, did you, when, when we first got the tease from the Ahsoka show, uh, when they teased, when they announced the young Ahsoka um, and you saw the back of his head, did you think it was rooted or, or did you think it was going to be sculpted as well? So, I, so first thing, I thought it was going to be potentially an artisan. I think it, it looked like it was rooted. So I, I was on that bandwagon thinking they were doing a, another artisan Anakin. Um, so that was the first thing. So I, I clearly wrong on that. Um, as far as the figure, I think it looks good. I, I, I'm a little iffy on the, the expression that that's, I think the likeness is a hundred percent there. Right? What don't you that, like about the expression? You know, it's like, is, I don't know. I just think it's a little weird. I get what they were going for, kind of like a, a a parent looking at their um their Child. kid, right? So it's kind of like a very you know supportive look, uh, with to to pair him with the young Padawan Ahsoka. Uh, but if you want to get him like you see him in some poses where he's kind of like deflecting, uh, some blaster shots, and right. it looks a, it looks a little wacky, right? He's not going to be necessarily the most dynamic figure <laughs> <laughs> damn joker j joker j he's ruthless <laughs> it's no filter um wait you're talking about this right the uh the bouncing effects yeah look it looks like he like you know it, it's not like he's even laughing at like having fun doing it it looks just like it doesn't. This expression doesn't belong with this figure. Right. Right. No, not with this figure. It doesn't belong with any action poses. Right. You're gonna pose him up standing next to the Ahsoka figure. Right. right? That's the, it. the Padawan. That's right. it. Because if you try to get him looking anywhere else, I, I just don't think it's gonna look right. You know, there's something there. He's <laughs> like he's taking it though. Well, well, when you were talking about this on Saturday, I think with um, with uh, Brendan. I think I said he looked like he was a, you know, in one of the Diddy videos. <laughs> Diddy videos. You know, he looked a little. <laughs> he looked a little diddled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, this the head scope is great, right? There's nothing wrong with it. The problem is this is not an action head sculpt. This is not right. an action expression. This is not a fighting expression. Right. This is not any 
anything related to any action, any fighting, any, any, any war, anything, right? Nothing. Right. Right. So I think, so going back to what I asked you now, knowing, you know, what you just mentioned, right? Not, not having that, that expression, not be belong to the figure. How appealing is it to have in your collection? If you're getting the Obi-Wan, uh, the, uh, Ahsoka line. I don't know, man. I'm 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 conflicted about this one because I'm picking up pretty much most of that line, right? I've got I've got almost all of them on pre-order at this point, except for some of the troopers, um, and the young Padawan Ahsoka. I just didn't feel the need to buy her, so I don't know. First of all, he's from that one episode, right? That one flashback one scene. scene. Yeah. So I don't feel like I can. I'm gonna like the collection is gonna be missing him if I don't get him. That's the first thing. Um. Also, so it's not even appealing to you at like that much where you're just okay with not getting him? I might be okay with not getting him. Oh man, that's crazy. No, because I just it's it's the it's a cameo essentially, and it's the the face. I just there's so many other good figures from that line, right? Like Ahsoka herself, right? The 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 guys we talked about before, Shin and uh Balin. Right. right, they're so well done. I don't know that I need to get this one as well. Oh, but you're getting uh, Balin and Shin. Oh, uh, oh, uh, those. But but think about the their presence in the story was so much more important. Well, so correct, it was so different. But I feel like you know we always talk about Anakin and how important and how special he is as a character. And I, literally every time there's an Anakin, you know everybody's right. like, oh my god, especially the artisan, right? That's a, right. a little bit different. Because of you know who he is, uh, and not only he is who he how he was made with the hair, um, so I understand that. But how do you feel you know about the comparison of these two? Um, so as you can see, this is the Clone Wars, completely different expression. Right. Obviously, this is more of a fighting face, an angry face, a a, a you know a a a more um, you know ready for battle face. Right. The hair right. sucks. Right. right. Look at the hair; it's horrible compared oh, no. to this. Um, how do you feel about the differences? Do you feel like I said, do you feel like this is necessary, even though, right, they're two completely different shows, they're not the same by any means, they're supposed to be the same from two different um right. You know. I gotta be honest though, like even though the the issue I have is the expression, right? That's more than anything the it's the expression, but when you compare the two, I mean the new version just looks so much better. Right, the likeness there. Not that the old one is, didn't have the likeness, but the new one just it looks like a picture of him. I mean, it looks that good, right? From the hair down to the expression, down to the the likeness, right? Well, I would have won maybe a more, you know, stoic expression or something a little more, you know, n just not bizarre not, is the only way so I can describe. Weak. Right. Like I, I just can't say that the likeness isn't there. I think the likeness is pretty. Oh no, it's perfect. Impressive. It's perfect. Yeah, it looks like him. It looks like a picture. Yeah, it looks like a picture of him. It looks, it looks very real. Like very, very real. Right. This is benefiting from all the the new updates Hot Toys has been doing with all their sculpts, and we've been seeing them with pretty much all their recent figures. This is this is pretty impressive. You can't you can't deny that. Collection obsession. Welcome. I'm doing. Thank you for being here. Happy Tuesday. He says, I just want the head sculpt and lightsaber effects. What would you do with that? Are you would you put it on the Clone Wars Anakin? Would you put it on this one? Or you just want it to like what? To make a custom or to do what? Uh get get him and part. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why right. would you why would you want to part him out to do what? Let us know. I, I would like to know. Um, also, Rudy, how do you feel about the hair? Oh, I think the hair looks great. Right? It looks very good. And actually, I, what I said was the, the sculpted hair looks way better than his real hair. Oh, uh, Yeah, no, no. It looks really impressive. And look at even the shot from the back, right? The the perspective that you're getting, it looks it looks rooted, right? In, in the yeah. on the side picture, it, like if you didn't know it was sculpted, that looks pretty, right. pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's there's a lot of good detail there. That's what they were able to trick everybody. Yeah, that's why we all thought it was going to be an artisan. I like what they did. I mean, I don't know. I'm 50-50 right now with him. It, I, I might. This... I think you're going to get him. I think you're going to get him because I feel like what's going to happen is when he comes out, you're going to be like, wow, he's not that bad. And then you're going to be like, you know what? He's going to look good with the with – the... But the, another thing is I feel like by you justifying not getting him, um, 
I think it's the it's another reason why you're not getting the young Ahsoka. And I feel like that's why you don't need him. You feel like you don't need him because you're like, I'm not getting her anyway. And the only right. way I would display her, uh, it, it would be with him or him with her. And I'm not getting one. So I, I feel like that's how you're justifying not getting him. And I think you're going to end up getting him and her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm we'll see. You, do not feel. Be- don't. What? Okay, we're gonna get into why we're gonna get into the real reason. What? What is the problem with Young Ahsoka? Let's hear it. Go ahead. Oh, there's no problem with Young Ahsoka. Oh, I thought you meant. I thought it was something like personal with with Young Ahsoka that you weren't getting her. Why don't you oh, want no, to no. get her? Oh, same thing, right? I just they were from a, a little cameo appearance, and her young version oh, was I just like. That's what you're saying. So you don't like the fact that they're just on the show for a second. Yeah, but then again, I also got the what was it the. The illusion Iron Man from Spider Man, uh, no, uh, but that's far a from home. That does it. That's a sick figure, though. <laughs> yeah, but that he was literally in like two seconds of screen. Yeah, time. no, but still, you can't <laughs> so, compare. You can't compare. So, <laughs> that's an Iron Man. An Iron Man, you need a heavy uh, Iron Man. You know? No, I don't know, man. I think it's just such a big line. That's the thing, too, right? There's so many figures coming out of it. I don't know that I could be. That is true. With it. That is true. And I don't think we're done yet. Oh, I don't think we're done either. Here's yeah, what's no. gonna happen with this one, and. Maybe even with Young Ahsoka, <laughs> I, I it's gonna it's gonna end up being where I'm gonna get the alert that it's gonna be low stock or wait I'm to, you, to go wait listed, just, and I'm gonna feel FOMO and I'm gonna order it. The, the, you will, you'll see, because <laughs> they're gonna you're not gonna regret it. They're gonna be their figures are you're gonna be like, wow, I'm so happy I got them because they're gonna look sick in your collection, especially with Shin Balin, uh, Ahsoka, the white, all those figures. Sabine Wren, oh, right? Oh, Sabine, uh, who oh, is it? Uh, the uh, Sindula Hera. I'm telling you, it, it's gonna look. Incredible! You're gonna be like, I'm so happy, I didn't, I, I didn't miss out on that, and I'm this, getting the this ball. This is anyway. bad. This is bad. I'm not coming on the stream anymore. <laughs> I'm because not coming on the stream anymore. You're convincing you, me. They're gonna, they're gonna be great figures. And when are we ever gonna get a young Ahsoka ever again? Never. Right. What, what Never. the young Ahsoka is, uh, what I'm hoping that indicates is at least Hot Toys is kind of willing to go give us some of those younger figures too. They like, will. They will. It's only a matter of time. They will. It's not like, oh, we can't make kids. Who said? Right. Look like, at look at um that what if uh Steve Rogers. Right. Or Stranger Things, right? Three Zero is killing it with that line. Exactly. So right. So um for me it was more the cameo and maybe I was trying to talk my way out of it, but it looks good. The figure looks great. And I it's simple, but I like the blaster effects too. I like that thing. <laughs> He's 50 50 too. <laughs> Good joker. I like this Anakin Hesco because he represents a part of his life when he's consumed with hate and unadulterated with the power of the dark side. Hobby says the head sculpt will grow exact. Thank you. That's the thing. Yeah. Thank you. You're right. Thank you. You guys are gonna see that figure come out, and you're gonna be like, "My God, that looks very good." Forget. The fact that you can't have him pose as fighting with the with the you know with the lightsaber and blah blah blah. Forget all that. You, but you know what? Will some people? You know will. what? This pose right here with him and that lightsaber that actually looks doesn't very, look that bad. That looks very decent. That, that looks, looks very decent. That looks really good. You know, so that's what I'm saying. So he's guaranteed hobby 100. That's why I told him the figure's gonna come out. You're gonna see the the, the blogger pictures. You're gonna be like, wow, that actually looks really good. Because again, the expression is perfect, and that that the expression the 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 head scope is perfect. It's just that expression, you know, it ruined it. But that figure is going to be a great, great figure. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't look like they're going to be making tons either. Because I, I feel like people are like, oh, well, I have the Clone Wars. I'm happy with that, you know? Right. And, and of course, the art is since coming out, right? You've got others. I don't know. Say it again? You, you've got other versions of the character out there right now. Plus, you've got what the right. the one from Clone Wars coming Correct. out from from sorry from Attack of the Clones, right? That version's coming out. The Padawan version of him, Padawan, right with the with the braid and the ponytail. Yep, right. So, so you're getting a, you're getting a bunch of versions. So you know, again, Anakin is a big deal. Yeah, right. So that's what to me, right? To me, I need all of Anakin, all of them. I need all of them. You, you're not going to miss out on an Anakin. No, yeah. And I actually need one on my collection. So, oh, you didn't even get the Clone Wars one? No, no. I wanted to get the one with the staff. Yeah, right? that one. Yeah, but then that was the. This is before I jumped back into Star Wars, right? So I just started jumping oh, back you, into you, it. So I need an Anakin. Matt Planet, how are you, my friend? Welcome. I'm doing. 
Thank you for being here, my friend. Happy Tuesday. Uh, stay strong, Rudy. Don't give in to the power <laughs> of the FOMO. <laughs> That's the well, problem. FOMO no, is real. You, my, my issue has always been and will always be not getting that one figure that becomes the one figure that everybody missed out on. That's my fear. So I will try to get as much as possible. Like, for example, I just ordered uh, Reva finally. Reva's a great figure, I man. I ordered C-3PO from uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. Okay. I ordered uh, Buzz Lightyear Deluxe finally. Uh, my Dead Strange will, my replacement Dead Strange will be here tomorrow or Friday. Nice. Um, what else is coming? Uh, the Soso Toys, uh, Moon Knights. Uh, my other Moon Knight is here already. My second Moon Knight is here. And, uh, the Old Man Logan. So all that stuff is coming. It's a lot yeah. of stuff you got coming. No, it's a lot of stuff. I know. I'm going to be busy for a while. And then once I, have to, once I get those, then I have to catch up. Uh, then I got Scarlet Witch from MOM. Right. I have Catwoman. I have Fox. I have uh, Valkyrie. I have Gore. I have Wolverine. So after those, these three, I have six more. And then I'll be caught up. And then obviously we'll, go, we'll start with the new ones, the 501st that just right. was released and all that stuff. But yeah, no, I got I got a bunch of stuff coming. I'm gonna be busy for a while. If you got figures you don't need, send them my way too. Uh, we got <laughs> imagine. Give us Omega from the. I feel like she's coming. I'm telling you guys, she's coming. A hundred percent, she's coming. I have a feeling. I don't know why, but I have a feeling she. They they may make her last minute. Uh, can we get a teenager thrown? Oh, I don't know about that. I wouldn't even know if that's a thing or not. Is that a thing? I don't know. Is that from Clone Wars? See, Where's I don't Willi know. This is where we need William. Yeah, William! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, my friend. To me, a new Anakin is mystical Anakin. I think it's great. No, he looks pretty good. Yeah, 73 Wolverine. I need that. I need that guy. Oh, also, guys. Also, shout out to... I want to make sure I get his name right. Because I just got in the trade. Mike Fitzsimmons. Shout out to Mike Fitzsimmons. I just got my, finally, got my uh, Snyder Cut tactical Batman in a, in a trade. Yeah, I've been waiting for that figure, too. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, buy it full retail just because I, I was like, this is going to go down. This is going to get, you know, in price. And so he was selling it. I got it in a trade. I am so happy. So that he's in Jersey. So that'll be here tomorrow. I shipped it today. That'll be here tomorrow. So yeah, I got tons of stuff. I'm, I'm catching up, guys. I'm catching up. Uh, I told you guys I would catch up, but it's uh, it's taking longer than expected. Uh, you you put exclusives. You put exclusive on a hook. You'll catch that. <laughs> yeah, literally, exclusives are like. Well, that's everybody, right? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody wants that exclusive. Nobody wants to be the one missing out. Obviously, everybody, anybody that goes for an exclusive already in the back of their minds knows or thinks that there's a huge possibility that they may not get it, right? But everybody goes for it, right? The thing is, not even trying. Like when you say things like that, when you're like, oh, no, I'm not even going to. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, how do you not even flinch? For what? For exclusives? Yeah. I mean, it depends on what it is, man. <laughs> you know? It depends. A toe cutter. <laughs> that was a toe cutter. <laughs> let me tell you guys. Let me wait. Let me tell you guys. This man was trying to hit me up for pictures of Hobbit's feet. Who? It was ridiculous. You. <laughs> no <I'm> kidding. <laughs> oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. How dare you? <laughs> he said Hobbit's feet. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I watched that stream. I was uh, I was literally like catching up. I was doing chores around the house. And then all of a sudden I hear something about feet and I look up and I see this image 
right there, right on the screen with you guys laughing about it. I'm like, oh, what the, the hell is this? <laughs> Brandon? <laughs> yeah, what the hell is this? <laughs> so Brandon, so what happened was, the reason why that happened. So Brandon apparently posts his pictures of his figures in a group. And every time he puts he puts pictures of uh, he posts pictures of his figures, I guess you could see his feet. So the people who see his pictures made a, a an inside joke about his feet because they're <laughs> always in the in the pictures of the figures. So he said, "Hey, I posted the stream in my group. I said a few of the guys might show up. I said here's a picture of my feet to make it an you know to make it a joke. So that's why <laughs> that happened." But that, so I said, explain the story. He's like, no, nah, I'm not. <laughs> but, can you, but can you imagine asking somebody? He's like, hey, you like feet? Can I have your feet? Like, what the? You'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? It's it's a right, Fabs. You don't have to hide it. Listen, I'm, not, listen. I'm, not, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm Inart good. is gonna make a Hobbit since they've got the Lord of the Rings license, and oh. I'm gonna buy that for you with rooted hair on the feet. Yes, and I'm gonna send it to you. Oh my god! And I'll do it. I'll give it. I'll do a giveaway with it. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my god! He said, "Fab does have a foot fetish." I do not. I do not. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you I'm sorry, Tuli. I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> help it. Tuli, I was dying when Tuli said "disgusting." Uh, yeah, I, when he said "unsubscribed," I felt bad. Yeah, I was dying when he said that. He's like "unsubscribed." I was dying. Again, I was catching the replay and I was just, I was like, wait, what is this? <laughs> what is this? This is ridiculous. Also, guys, okay, our next topic before we get sidetracked here. So, Rudy, what do you think of this? Bow. So, guys, as you can see, it looks like Vicky Vale is being made or being teased, at least so far, by uh, Mars Toys. They posted that if they don't get many orders, that they'll make it a limited uh, run, uh, which means nothing because how many times have they made the Romero Joker already, the Batman and Robin already from, uh, what was it? Uh, what What is there? Mars Toys and... Uh, Saturn toys, Saturn toys, yeah, right. Those are the things uh, that well, that's their other company, Saturn right. and Mars is the same thing. So it looks like they're making Vicky, right? Um, obviously, very, very exciting. Nobody has done this since right ever, right? They made the uh, the 89 uh, Bat uh, uh Michael Keaton Batman, she, nobody ever made it. Nobody, you know, there, there have been customs, I believe, um made of her but i never saw any third party company make her um and if they did she was definitely not good because i don't have her right i usually try to get the more decent ones um or even if i'm desperate and it's the only one then it is what it is right so i would have it um they never made her as far as i know so how do you feel about that you know being a a, a batman fan oh this is really appealing man like this is uh <clears throat> it was unexpected but then again they just did what uh alfred from the 89 right so they, they're kind of going right. into those side characters so yep. it, it makes sense to, deep. it makes sense to make her she's kind of an important character in that movie so right artisan hobby hobbit feet <laughs> <laughs> look at what i started <sighs> you can see i'll sell my i'll sell pics of my feet right <laughs> cheaper than jazz ink <laughs> she looks a little gray she comes with Oh my god, she comes for real. Oh my god, this guy, unbelievable! Smart move by them, absolutely. It is 89 no, is killing very, it right now. Very, very good, very, very smart. Again, um, they're making very appealing characters, not the best quality by any means, not the most accurate by any means. Right? That Caesar Gemero, uh, Romero jacket apparently was off color. Uh, apparently, one time it was purple, another time it was pink. I don't know what's going on. I guess their consistency is not good. But again, they make characters that people want, right? They right. make characters that fill fill in the lines. And like, again, right, cost-wise, it's what? Their figures are about 200 bucks. 
Yeah, 180, 170, depending. I mean, on at that cost, you know, I mean, for what you're paying, I think you're getting a decent product from what they've been providing for third party. So, you know, they're they're doing good. The the Alfred was good. The Bruce Wayne people seem to like. Right. So. Right. The Bruce Wayne, correct. <clears throat> yep. Right. Right. So they're doing figures that people want. Yeah. People that people want a lot too. Yeah. Uh, Brad says her toy is giving us a shoe. <laughs> oh my god! They're doing a Mad Hatter for sixty six Batman scope. I saw great. that. Oh, I saw it too. Yeah. I saw it. That looks good. Yeah. I just wish they would speed up their production a little bit because they're so slow. What have you yeah. ordered from them so far that you have in in hand right now? I don't have anything in hand, but I have the one thing I have ordered from them, which has been delayed so long, was the um. The Black Manta from the original. Oh, yes. I, ju I just pre-ordered that um, maybe like a month ago. I, I, that, I was hoping that was still available. And it was. on. It was. Yeah. On, yeah. So, that, but, but they delayed it so many times already. You think it'll be canceled? I hope not. I hope not. That's going to be a sick figure to complete the, the, the Aquaman line. Sick. Right. And I like the look from the original movie a little bit more than the one from the, the one that Hot Toys is doing. Just the look of the suit. The gray, the 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 all oh, yeah the black with the gray. I I think it looks pretty cool with the. Wait, you talking about the second suit? No, the first suit. Oh, I no, like the, the first suit. The first suit, suit more. is way better than the second suit. Yeah, that's like, why I, I wanted that one. Yeah, right. So did I. So when I saw Hot Toys making the the new one, I was like the first one way better. So that's right. when I went back and said, I hope the kid has it. He had it. I pre ordered it immediately. Now having both is gonna look sick. Yeah, I hope there's somewhat, you know. Similar in height, obviously, like I said, Mars Toys is a little bit smaller than Hot Toys, right. uh, but because of the fact that it's all panels and it's all, you know, it's a suit, hopefully that bulkier, yeah, correct. Hopefully that bulk will make them, you know, that much bigger than the Hot Toys figure because it should be bigger than the Hot Toys figure. Remember, he doesn't have all that, all that armor, all those panels for the it's second. Just, it's just a yeah, it's just like a wet just suit, a suit like a body yep. suit, right? Yep. So that's gonna be. We should have the Mars Toys be towering over that that hot toys figure but again who knows what's going to happen maybe that's why it's been delayed so many times because they're trying to figure out the proper scale the proper size of these panels so right. it doesn't look funky or funny and maybe they're struggling with that so that's what i'm saying do you think it may, it may get canceled i hope not i i but they seem to be struggling with it so i think we'll have to see yeah i hope not i hope i hope there's no problem with it uh, just don't get the second batch. Oh, okay. That's what I've heard, right? If they do a second re-release, that's it. Yeah. That's like the leftover? No, not even. It's like, because those were the people that had the issues on online, on Facebook and everything. With the, um, the, the Joker, it was the second batch that they released after the original oh, one. What was the problem? Out. The color? It, Wasn't it the color? I, I think it was that. I think there were issues with the jacket, too. Oh, I thought it was just the color. Like the color was like a like a purple or something, and it was supposed to be pink or something like that, or the other no, way. I, I think it was. There were definitely a couple of issues there. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And I and I'm still to this day. I have the Hot Toys Batman and Robin. I have uh, I have a uh, Lex Luthor from I believe it was DC, twelve inch DC, and I would have easily, you know, I could have used that Joker, but. I'm like, nah, I'm like, you know, when they started making so many, it wasn't even appealing anymore. Like it was like batch after batch after batch. I was like, I'm good. Right. You know, if you're making that many, you can't give me quality pushing product like that back to back to back. You're not giving me any exclusivity. And I don't mean that I need it, but it's like, what are you doing? You know right. what I mean? Like if anything, third party is holding more value than hot toys right now. Obviously right. not all, not all, right? Not all, not every company, not all the product, but there are more third-party figures right now that are holding more value than any hot than than a lot of hot toys. Right. You know? So that's why when they overdo the product, it's like, man, like they don't even care. You know, they don't care about giving their figures any value. They don't care about giving us any value, which we know this already, right? No, f besides, again, Blitzway seems like it's the only one because even yeah. Enter Bay, even Enter Bay reissues basketball players left and right. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing them like you think that it's new, and then you go back, and you're like, oh, no, it's, exactly, a, exactly. it's a reissue, straight reissue, too. Always, always. They reuse the same body because there's nothing new. They'll remake right. the head sculpt, they'll use a new head sculpt, same body, same clothes, same everything. 
Right. It's crazy. So to see a company do that, right, over and over and over with one character, it shows me that they don't care. So that's why if you don't care and you're just mass producing these things left and right for, you know, just to make that quick money, you, 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 you're showing me that you don't value the company, right? right? You don't value your product. And you guys just mentioned there's obviously there, there are issues with a second batch and they didn't just make a second batch. They made more than two for multiple figures, right? That, that Batman and Robin uh, that they made, what was it? Uh, the Nept Saturn toys, Saturn toy. Yeah. I always think Neptune toys. The Saturn toys the was made at least twice. Right. That Batman and Robin said at least twice. Right. Okay. Like I said, the Cesar Romero at least three times. Right. The the Alfred, I remember Kit basically put on that. They were good doing a second run on that one. Everything. Well. Everything yeah. Mars toys is always going to be um, reissued, remade as much as they need to. Once the, the, the hype dies down, because they see people in the group saying, oh, you know, are you making another batch of this? Are you?" And if it makes some money, if they could get enough people for another batch, they will do another batch. Right. Because it's money in their pocket. And again, because there's no quality there, there's nothing that they got to worry about. Right. If there was any quality given to the figures, right, they would say, well, we can't do another batch because it's going to take a while for the tailoring to get made properly and, and done correctly, right? Number two, we have to get the proper uh, color of materials because so it's not just a let's take a quick order, one, two, three, we got all the materials. No, because clearly that's not the case. You don't even give us the same uniform product per um per batch. Per batch. Yeah, per batch. Right. Exactly. So that alone tells me that your company, that you don't you don't care for your company. And that's why I didn't get and it's not because I didn't have the money. It's not because you know, the figure was crap. It's not because of any of that. It was the moment I saw that they were, all right, all right, it sold out. Boom. I'm like, oh, man, it sold out. I should have pre-ordered. Batch number two. I was like, oh, they're making another one. All right, no rush. Batch number three. That's when I got turned off. I was like, nope. I was like, I really don't need these cards. Why would I go buy something that they don't care about? And again, I could use it in my collection. I could use every single one they're making. The Penguin. Uh, uh, the Riddler, the uh, the Joker. I could use every single one, but for what? You know, what's the point? I'm not missing out on anything at all. They're great figures. They look great, but if they didn't give it any value, why would I? Well, the value is kind of what you make of it, though, too, right? Like, if it does feel like a gap in your collection, like, honestly, for me... Let's say I pick up because Vicky Vale, I probably would order this one, right? She goes well with the 89 Batman and the Joker. Um, but if I pick up Vicky Vale and then they make another one of her, am I really going to feel upset that they made another batch? <laughs> Joker J, wait, man. Wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Joker wait. J, wait. I don't think so. <laughs> go ahead <laughs> no but 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 i think i think that's what it comes down to like am i gonna be really that upset if they make three more batches of, of vicky vale as long as i have mine and she turns out to be a decent figure probably not you know who her so you, don't, you don't think you don't think so no no like i'm saying I, i'm gonna probably order her uh -huh. when they put her up for order right but then i get mine and then mars toys decides to make another two three four batches right because there's a demand i'm not really going to be that upset about what mars toys is doing i'm going to be pretty happy that i have the vicky veil in my collection well you're going to be happy if you get the first batch apparently right that's i guess that's more important than getting the figure period because you're gonna get the figure with fuck you know with four five batches right and i think that but that's the key then right it's just knowing you want to get in early on these figures because they're decent right they're third party they're decent for third party and, and i course. think that's the key of course clinton martin how are you welcome I'm doing. tuesday thank you for being here <clears throat> um i hear they're Whipping up a <laughs> this guy, imagine. 
He said, preach, Rudy. Preach. No, but I, I'm excited for this figure. I could tell you, I, I could tell you why. Number one, Michael Keaton's Batman by Hot Toys has been was made years ago. Yep. Nobody to this day has made a single Vicky Vale figure. And anybody could have made it at this point. Anybody. Right. Present Toys, Toys Era, um, you know, Thunder Toy, anybody. So why didn't anybody take the step or 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 you know take the initiative to say, hey, let's make her for this Batman? Nobody did. Well, here she is. I can tell you this. How 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 expensive, how how much do you think she would be worth? Meaning, like, what do you think they're gonna price her at? So so they said, right, if they don't get enough orders, they'll make her like a little more limited. Yeah, but that's you know, that's not true. That's not gonna happen. I mean, look, look, let's let's look at social toys, for example, right now. They did what was their batch for some of their figures? They're like 300 300 pieces and you're still paying 200 bucks about right they're not so i I would expect her to be priced in that range and i think for that range i'd be pretty happy with her the the thing the reason why you know the 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 batch thing doesn't matter with them is because even if they decide right they know that they're going to get plenty of orders for this for this figure they know that yeah well i think they've seen it right with the bruce wayne that they did with the alfred Correct. The fact that Alfred and and look, Alfred's exactly. an important character. Exactly. But no, but right. he looks great. He looks great. That the 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 accessories that they gave him, the way he looks, that head sculpt is very good. Um, again, for what it is, right. uh, you see the likeness there. He looks exactly like the actor. Right. But my thing is, you know, regarding her her price, right? What can they possibly give you with her accessory wise? She's gonna come with the the shoe, like I think Joker was it Joker J that mentioned it? A uh, Brad, a uh, Brad, right? He's she's gonna come with the shoe. I mean, she's gonna be a pretty bare bones figure. Maybe a jacket, right? Because I think there's that's, a that's, jacket. That's, that's exactly my point of the question. What could she possibly come with? Not much. So, what would be your your your, your perfect price for her? Perfect price, probably one sixty one seventy five. Right, you would think so. I would think so. If they decide that they're going to go the exclusive route, I wouldn't be surprised if they push the 190 margin. Now, but if, as a bare bones figure, I think the 160 to 175, similar to what the other figures were priced at, would be key there. Now, a question. What is one thing that Mars Toys likes to do? What is something very common that they do that they've been doing a lot? feel like this is a trick question man no it's not it's not trick what have they been doing multiple what multiple head sculpts there you go so do you think that she could was it, i don't remember the movie to tell you oh this one her hair was like this or she looked like this and what you know what i mean like did she did she appear differently enough where they could say here's a different head sculpt of her i mean the only thing right it would be kind of extreme i think at one point she's got glasses on and a ponytail they could give us that, right? So they could do something like that. And but then then you're talking about probably having to do like a, two sets of clothing, right? Swappable clothes or something like that. So that you could create two different looks. <laughs> oh, three meals says five legs for the six batch. <laughs> for the six batch. <laughs> Imagine Rudy the real collector. <laughs> this guy. Unbelievable. Unreal. Uh, there was a time I was against their party, but I was wrong. No, I'm telling you. Listen, I used to be the same way, like Joker J. I used to just buy licensed, and I used to not look at third party. You and then I realized license, license what? License one hundred eight? No, no. Like I used to just <laughs> buy Hot Toys, man. This guy is like, no, no. <laughs> I used to buy Hot Toys, and then I broadened my my. What was your first view. third party? If you remember, Jesus, it was a Marvel figure, definitely. By what company? You know which one it was? Third party Marvel? Third party. It was the first. Um, and I have him in the shelf, but he's way back there. The Kingpin from the Netflix show. And I forgot who it was. It uh, wasn't uh, Toys. Toys Era. 
it was Toys Era, but it wasn't Toys Era at the time. It was another company that they used to call themselves. Oh no, you're talking about something else. No, because this one's this one's Social Toys. The one, the two we got was Social Toys. No, but there was one before that that was made by oh, I remember. another oh, company. Wait, that big one, that big. That no, 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 no. That was Toys oh. Battalion. No, no. Hold on, I'm gonna. No, look that it up. was Toys Era. Yeah, no, there was another one way before that, a Kingpin, a Wilson Fisk. No, because there was that big baby looking one, and then. Oh no, I never got that one. No. Hold on. Yeah, let me know because I want to know which one it is. But yeah, I. what do you guys think? Somebody tell me in the chat. I feel like you guys are very quiet tonight. What do you guys think of this figure? Do you guys... Do you guys... Do you guys like the figure? Do you guys think it's necessary? Do you guys think it's 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 going to make the... um You know, having Batman, having the Michael Keaton, right? For... Uh, uh, whether it's Mars Toys or the Batman Returns, right, with the Tux, do you guys think that this Vicky Vale is gonna is gonna make the, the 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 collection, right, make the figures look that much better together? Um, do you think it's gonna make a big difference? Do you do you not? And what do you guys think it's gonna be priced at? Please give me your give me your um your thoughts on prices and what you guys think of this figure, please, if you guys don't mind. And then you know who. You know who I hope they make if they're teasing Vicky Vale? I hope they do Bob. Oh, the 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 Joker's, the Joker's uh, yeah, right the hand Joker's guy, yeah, with the long hair. Remember, Hot Toys teased it with their uh, they had that display where they had a six scale Bob. I remember, yeah, that was that that auction they had. That auction they had, yeah. somebody got lucky, yeah. I remember that. Uh, Nathan says, I think she's a great figure to take it in. Oh, look at that, that is true. That's that's true. They're not making it. <laughs> They're making it. They're making it. No, but to his point, right? They also teased the ones that I was really curious about. They teased the Jaws figures, Captain Quint from Jaws. Who they did? So they, yeah, they did. Mars Toys. They've teased like so many figures at this point. So I'm ready oh, to so maybe maybe they do that to create hype. I'm ready to give them money, and it doesn't <laughs> look like they want it at this point. You remember that time I had a question for you and you thought I needed money and you didn't want to give it to me? No. He's ready to give it to companies he doesn't know, but he won't give it to people he knows. Can you imagine? Right. Can you imagine that? My first third-party figure. <laughs> Which one? Go ahead. It was the Toys Works the Boss. Toys Works the Boss. It I know Toys old. Works because Toys Works is very good. But they were old. They have. I don't think they've done anything like recently. No, well, I think they, they Toys, Works did, Toys Works did all the um the the Matrix figures, right? So they did. They did the Boss, which was their Kingpin. Oh, they did, I didn't know that. Let me I find think it. They did um uh, before Toys Era did the the Ancient One from Doctor Strange. They did her too. Let's see, Toys Toy Works. works? Uh, toy no, works. Toy, the boss. Toys toy works. works. No toy. Toy, toy no works. The boss. The boss. I don't remember that, but I know toy works. They made all the matrix. Oh, this guy. Yeah, uh, yep, that was my first guy. I, I've never seen this. That was my first six kill figure. That's not bad, man. No, that Look was at that two. Two suits. Yo, and, and that was right. This. No, he was great. I mean, the head sculpt is not so great, yeah, but that suit, man. But this is older too. This, this no, no, this is very old. old. This is because yeah. Toy Works they don't really make stuff like that anymore. They don't make a lot of stuff at all, really. Yeah, like compared to the social toys, like here is not that bad. No, but compared to the social toys kingpins, right? He's not. He's, he's not not, big. not at the same level. But for the time when when he was coming out, I remember all the Netflix shows were coming out. This right. guy was my first third party. Oh wow, that's cr I've never seen this ever. Yep. And then who? Do you who still else have him, or you sold him? No, I still have him. He's still oh. he's still in there in the display. Wow, that's crazy. No, I had no idea. And then then it was what early so so when they did the the, 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 the lawyer flat, flat, the Electra the Flash, right? The original Flashes were trash. Oh my god, if you saw that, I brought them up one day. The bodies are like. Super, super thin, very cheap, very flimsy, just real garbage. You know what? People hate on the Electra, the Soso Electra. I actually like her. I think the sculpt isn't their best, but it's actually pretty. Oh, good. I never, I never even saw her. I don't remember seeing her. Hold on, let me see if I uh, can the get price her. point is low. 
that will look great next to Tuxedo. Yep, exactly. Oh, yeah. That's how I'm picturing. I'm picturing her next to him. Because next to Batman, you know. I mean, you can with him, with Batman, too. Well, you can also do it right between her and the Joker from the end, uh, from the Correct. final battle. Correct. Correct. Right? That's what I'd imagine. Need that Max Eckhart, too. Clint Martin says, it would be good to go with those two new Joker and Wayne. I think probably one. Yeah, 180 is fair. 180, I think, is the... Mars T's jaw signed me up. Brody's estate won't give up rights, though. Yeah, if they did, if Mars were able to do Jaws figures, I'd be all over those. Oh, Billy D. Two Face. Yes, that would be a sick one. Yeah. That would be a nice one. That would be very good. Are you excited for the JD words? No, uh, not really. Anybody here uh, collect the JD stuff? I don't. I know. Oh, you know who? Um, you know who's getting this? Uh, Mike. Mike is getting the. No, not this. He's not getting this. He's getting the Anne Hathaway one. Never mind. Uh, they should do the Joker girls <laughs> from his TV commercial. Love that Joker. <laughs> oh my God. Who knows? They might. They're doing everything. Can you imagine? So now, again, I didn't know this. I don't follow more stories like that. So I didn't know they were constantly teasing stuff. So now knowing this, now you, since you know that they tease stuff a lot, because I don't, like I said, I don't follow them like that. What are the what are the chances and what is the possibility of them making this now? Now that you know how they are as a company, the only reason I think there's a, a really high chance they make this is because they've done the eighty nine. They did the eighty nine Bruce Wayne. They did the Alfred. So I I think they're seeing that the the line is selling well, and the multiple batches of each figure says it that all. sell out right because they keep selling them out which requires them to do another batch so there's well, clearly a demand for them so i think this is i think i would put this in the highly likely that this gets made this is right. i think definitely coming and the one thing i was going to mention too even if for example they say oh if we don't get if we don't get uh you know many pre-orders blah 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 we'll make it a a, a limited a limited uh release right right those figures will be released People will see them. Oh my God, they look great. Is there another batch coming? And there's right. your second batch. That's it. Right. It's that right. simple. Right. So that's but why I, I think I think they're definitely gonna make this. I think there's gonna be a demand for it. Exactly. Right? I think so too. And honestly, it's a figure that if Hot Toys were to make it, it might not make sense for them because they're not gonna move enough volume. But for a third party company, I think they can make it and make some profit. Oh no, you better believe it. And Absolutely. you know, their their uh their head scopes, you know, are very, very good too. Yeah. Even though, even though, like I always say, they're out of scale, their bodies are very small, right? They're not big by any means. Everything's very, very thin, everything is very, very narrow shoulder. You know, the, the figures have no mass to them whatsoever. Very basic figures, very, very basic, the most basic type of figures you could get. Right. So they they always make money, and because of the fact that they're cheaper and they're decent, that's why they're very appealing. That's why I don't mind buying third party as long as it looks decent. You know, right? You're paying for what they are, right? Right? That's it's supposed to be a filler. It, you're not you're not you're not getting, uh, you know, you're not getting quality. At least you're not supposed to, right? You're not supposed to. Not, not you're not supposed to. You're not you're not. You shouldn't expect too much from a third party. Right. When you right? get a good quality third party figure, that's when you're really wowed, right? Right. That's when you're really express, impressed because usually you don't expect that. Uh, O3 Mill says, uh, Tupac, the martial arts guy, and the big black guy that Batman fought near the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, listen, <laughs> troop, but troop builders, right? To go with Bob? I don't know. Mars Toys is a, is a really strange company with what they're doing. Because the 66 Batman stuff is clearly selling, and that makes sense, right? Yep. You got the 89 Batman stuff that's also selling, and they're doing yep. also makes sense. Then they're doing Biff from Back to the Future, right? Yep. That one kind of came out of nowhere. But again, the Back to the Future hype was there. So that one makes sense. But then some of the other stuff they're teasing is kind of They're doing like, Doc Brown, too. Which one? Doc Brown. Oh, they're doing Doc Brown. That's right. Yeah. So so they're, they're, they're an interesting company. Um but I think they're heavy in the Batman stuff because that's that's selling, and well, no other third party to that point had been doing the Batman stuff. Right. So, and Batman is super popular, right? Yep. And and I feel like it's more popular than Back to the Future. So 
it makes mm-hmm. sense why they're going bulls deep with that line. Yep. Um, Rudy, what do you have coming? Uh, are you did you order anything? Are you expecting anything? Uh, the only one that hasn't shipped yet is the Scarlet Witch uh, from Multiverse of Madness. Do you have the um, WandaVision one? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, I have all of And the one that just dropped, and I unboxed it right, right after we were talking. Yeah, guys, look at this. He got it already. Did you did that. you try the light-up function, or you need the battery? No, I have to get the battery on that one. It but didn't come with the looks- battery? No. I don't oh. think he did. I have, to, I have to look at the box. Yeah, but check. that looks pretty good. Check, make sure it, it did, because I, I, I have a feeling it didn't. I don't think it did, because I, I, I'm looking at the box right now. And yeah, then, of like course, weird... look, look at that sculpt. Let me oh. see if I could get him. Yeah, that looks good, man. Look at that. That looks very nice. Yeah. No, that's going to be really good. Sick. You could get a Paul Dameron out of that, too. That's right. You know? That's so I'm, right. I, I, I may open. I mean, I'm going to be using both head skulls, but just real quickly to see if it fits. I'm going to take a picture of the pilot Luke, take the head off, and put that one on just to see that, what it that, is. That would be awesome. Because that's well, one figure that I'm like Hot Toys teased it how many years ago and then right. never made it. Never made that, it. That's kind of a surprise considering that he was a big player in the, exactly. in the movies. That would have been nice. And it would have yeah. it would have completed, you know, the line yep. as well. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, you're waiting for I did you get oh no, did you I was gonna say, did you get the old man Logan? All right. No, no. Yeah, I'm I'm still I'm gonna try to pick him up, but we'll see. I'm not what that are, what other what figures are you uh, are you waiting for? Like that you need to get catch up on. Oh, that I need to catch up on? Yeah. Uh not many actually. Oh, you're mostly caught up. I'm mostly caught up now. Yeah. Now it's where I'm going back hunting. I know you're holding those two, uh, those two for me that I have to buy from you at some point, the the Harry Potter ones, and then then I'm always looking online to see if I I, I can scope out. I'm I'm trying to catch a Darth Maul from Solo. Mm. That's that's the one I'm, and I know Toys for Kittles has like two of them, so I'm I'm always keeping an eye on those. Oh, nice. And, okay. And once things kind of and and things seem to be quieting down, at least for the moment, I think now is going to be the time to jump back and pick up some of those older ones. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up now that it's you know a little bit slow. I didn't you know I didn't get the Batmobile, um, right. so I'm good on that. I have to get the the five hundred first, right? Um, but I still got another you know with the three I ordered today. I need another six to catch up, and then I got to go for the the five hundred first. Um, what I'm worried about is I have a ton of things on final. Payment? Like payment from sideshow like i've got so i got scarlet witch i'm still waiting on the obi one kenobi right mighty thor black panther she hulk mantis the two avatar figures the mark uh six with the gantry kang is on final payment now Kang. I, oh my god so that right, means they're then, all coming out soon right and then i've got the three zero ones that are fully paid off right like the rambo two one that's completely paid off because I got it straight from three zero. So hopefully that comes at some point. <laughs> Bobby Knight, this guy. Unbelievable. So you got a lot of stuff coming, man. My well, I, I got a lot of stuff on order that's now paid almost completely. Well, no, but I'm off. saying that's gonna be coming soon. As long as they start releasing, you're gonna be like payment, payment, payment. Well, and that's not even counting the third party stuff. Right. Right? Because not even third party, right? I've got the three Dune figures on order from Og Toys that are supposed to be releasing this month. Right. So that's three right there, invoices. Um, I got a couple present Toys figures, right? Toys Air is supposed to be dropping those figures from The Last of Us. The right. Joel and the um, and the, the, girl. the girl. Yeah, the girl, I remember. Yeah. So I got those on order. So yeah, it's it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pricey. Everything's coming at some point. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting for the bills. Joker just says, me too, Rudy. Everything's due any day. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I, I'm telling you, I'll tell you this. I don't miss pre-orders. Um, you know, I don't miss, not the pre-orders. I still pre-order some here and there. Um, but I don't miss that constant, like, always have to, like, you know, I have to, all right, something's out, pre-order. Something's out, pre-order. Like, I don't miss that at all. You know, and, and, and being able to still get them once they're out, you know, that to me alone is like, oh such a relief because before it was like oh man i need to pre-order i need to it took me and still to this day it's 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 still kind of scary 
not pre-ordering certain things because it's like, man, like you never know. Right. You know? So that's, I feel like that fear is always going to be in the back of my head just because it's like, you don't want to be miss out on things like that. And then I have to overpay, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. Right. And now it's, now it's a game. Like you said, you've got to, cause I was always doing the same thing. Like, is it going to sell out? Am I going to miss out on it? So there are certain characters I'm not order pre-ordering like the, uh, the last inquisitor from Ahsoka. I want to get that one. It went on wait list at sideshow already, but I still think I'm going to be able to pick that up somewhere else when it releases the Merrick. That so one I'm I not pre-order, but I, 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 I don't think that's going anywhere. I don't think right. that's so, going so anywhere. So even if Sideshow goes on waitlist, I think that um oh that's another one. The Vader from Obi-Wan it keeps getting pushed back for me. Oh wow. Somebody just got I think Rob. Shout out to Rob. I think he just got his yeah. one of the channel members. Right. Um, yeah, a lot of people haven't gotten theirs either still. Felt so good to cancel the ones I could and buy us. Yeah. Yep, that's what I did for a bunch of them too. Um, I got I had them all on pre-order from Sideshow, and then I was getting them cheaper on toysforkittles.com. So I got I canceled them on there, got them cheaper on toysforkittles.com. Also, guys, real quickly before I forget, and I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again for those who weren't here, for those who didn't hear it. When you guys order on toysforkittles.com, right? The coupon code only gets you 50 uh 50 dollars or 50 Hong Kong dollars off, not even US dollars, Hong Kong dollars. So whenever you guys order anything from the website, don't put multiple items in the cart to use the coupon code for 50 uh Hong Kong dollars. Buy everything separately. So if you have three items that you want to buy, order each one as its own order order them all separately because if you do all three in the cart and you use the coupon code, you get 50 Hong Kong dollars out of the three items. So only 50 out of three items. If you do 50 per item, now you got 50 per item, right? So if you do a separate order per item, you're going to get 50 each item. So instead of getting 50 Hong Kong dollars off for three items, you're going to get $150 uh, Hong Kong dollars off for three items. So don't buy more than one item in the cart because you're wasting the coupon code, right? It's not a one-time use like kits code that you, you know, you have to load it up to use it the one time. No, this is, you could use multiple times a day if you need to. So it's, don't worry about that, but be smart about it. Don't, you know, you're throwing money away. You're giving them more money by not using, you know, and it's not a big discount, but it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Especially if your guys are buying multiples over and over and over, why not? So just wanted to let you guys know that again, because I feel like you guys are wasting the coupon code a lot by ordering multiple things and only using it, you know, for the one time instead of using it over and over and over and benefiting from it. Uh, 03 Mill says, my local comic shop has three of those. Ooh, I thought they were, they were gone already. Does your local uh, shop have them for retail or more expensive? Uh, O3 Mills, let me know. But yeah, guys, we did it. We made it. Um, what's today? Tuesday. So I have a feeling we're going to get more announcements uh, probably by the end of the week. Um, if today, uh, today, Tuesday, probably tomorrow, uh, Thursday, right? Because it's already right. Wednesday for them. Um, so probably Thursday, hopefully. Um, if not, then most likely some third party will be announced. Something has to happen, but we're not going to be dry for the rest of the week. Um, let me see. Uh, what's your coupon code? Let me type it in just so you guys don't, um, misspell it. Uh, there it is. So it's Fabs Figures, uh, for toysforkittles.com and it's Fabs Figure. No S at the end for 16kit.com. Um, about 20 bucks over. What, oh, okay, so that's not bad because remember, that's you got to pay yeah. tax and shipping uh, also. So that's not terrible. That's good. Uh, what's your inner code? My inner code is, I'm going to type it in also. Um, Hot Toys Veteran is my inner code code um i think you you're only able to use it until like april 
April something, he said. I forgot the date. April 12th, maybe? April 15th, something like that? I don't know. I don't know when, but he's got a limit. So Hot Toys Veteran is for InArt. You get $10 off, uh, 168.com. Fab's Figure is uh, also on 168.com. You get $10 off, a one-time use only. Fab's Figures is uh, toysforkiddos.com. You get $50 Hong Kong dollars off. If you guys want some uh, another uh, $5 from Giant Toy, let me know because I have a, a link for that as well. Um, and every time you use the link, right, You, I mean, you need a new email for it every time to get it, uh, the $5 off. But if you guys need that as well, I have it too for GiantToy.com. Rudy, anything else you need to say before we get the hell out of here? No, I'm good, man. Another fun All right. combo. All right, guys. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being so active in the chat as always. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.